Hello everyone. Good afternoon. I hope all of you guys are doing great today. Welcome to today's master class, which is how to crack software development interviews in top product companies, right? That is what we are going to discuss today. And I will be your host. I am your, I am Alok Anand, co-founder and COO at Alma Better, right? I have been working in tech industry for past seven to eight years, working as machine learning engineer, uh, starting my career with data scientists. Then at the end of my career, I was involved in backend development as well. So I'll be taking you through this journey in next uh, almost two hours to ensure that you understand this whole journey of becoming a software developer, how you started off, and then at the end, how you uh, finally join any company which you want, right? So what's going to be your journey? That's what I'm going to talk about, and I'll help uh, you guys to at least understand where to start with as well, right? So this is, as as I mentioned, this is going to be the topic for today, cracking the uh, software development interviews. Now to get the understanding of uh, the software development, first we need to break it down what exactly uh, the software development is all about becoming a software developer. You might have heard about different roles, right? You might have heard about different roles like front end, back end, uh, QA, where all these things lie, right? How you are going to uh, see yourself in which of the domain as a fresher, if you are a college student, then how do you start it off, right? In which part will be more suitable for you, whether it is front end development, whether it is a back end development, or you might have got confused sometimes like web development versus website development. What is the difference between these? Uh, different things that I'm going to talk about and I'll ensure that you guys are uh, understanding the differences between these two, right? Then uh, we will talk about required skills and qualification. At the end, we will talk about interview process of different companies, how generally uh, companies are looking at the process of hiring really good talent in their company. And then at the end, we will talk about few interview questions, which you might uh, find it helpful and that might give you a direction how you should approach your learning uh, in your starting career, right? Mangesh, welcome here. Welcome to the session. You are a PCB student. Great, great. I hope this session is going to be helpful for you. All right, feel free to utilize chat section and whoever has joined uh, uh, as a webinar from different platforms, please put your uh, questions in the comment section. We are going to take the question at the end of it. All right, so without further ado, let's start the discussion. Let's start our session. All right. So first, our discussion would be what is software development, right? So if I have to summarize and give you an understanding about software development, right? It's kind of like software developers are the builders of this internet era, right? Like you had uh, construct, uh, con I would say the constructors or the builders for the real state, right? Uh, from the uh, real state where you you we, you saw that buildings are being constructed. Similar to that, if you just think from the real world to this internet world, right? Software developers are the builders, right? They what they do? They create, they design, they test, they maintain computer programs and applications. Like you have uh, some real estate buildings, you have different components for a building, uh, which is very essential for anybody to live in. There are components for any application in internet as well, right? Your address is your uh, the link where you go. Let's say www.google.com, www.almobeto.com. These are different address you get to. Now, once you reach there, there are different components to it, right? There are different applications running in the backend. Uh, your uh, email ID is coming in, your sign up is happening. If you have forgotten your password, uh, there is something going, some codes are going, you are resetting your password, lot of things, step by step things are happening, right? And all of these things are created and maintained by software developers, right? Software developers. So overall, I would say the whole, uh, this whole domain is a software development domain. Now inside that there are other, other different, different fields which you are going to be associated with, uh, with a uh, different journey in your uh, career, right? At different point, point in your journey in career, right? It involves writing codes, of course, when you are interacting with machine, when you are interacting with physical world, you have some physical mechanical machines, which you use. When you are interacting with machine, you will have 
uh, some programming language which you are going to use like Java, Python, C++, JavaScript. We will specifically discuss uh, what you should be focusing on. Uh, but these are few uh, programming languages, not just limited to these. There are a lot of others, uh, other languages as well, which people are using. So you are going to use programming language to build something on internet, which will be useful for other users, right? That's what more or less the software development is, right? Software developers, they solve real world problems by designing application that address specific needs or challenges. Great, great. I see students are joining in. Umavati, Santos, Sweta, everyone, welcome to this session. Great. So coming to our uh, next point, software developers solve real world problems by designing application that address specific needs or challenges. Now, software developers, they need to, again, understand whichever company they are working in, if they have some idea on their own, if they want to create, they need to understand what's the problem actually they want to solve, right? Whether they want to create an e-commerce website where they want to, uh, you know, make sure that buyers and sellers are coming in and they are effectively managing whole the pla or their uh, whole platform and all the interactions, right? Same, it can be a healthcare platform giving an example like Practo, where doctors and patients are coming in. There can be a lot of different real world use cases which software developers are making sure to design the applications accordingly. And again, each and every problem has its own uh, challenges. Let's say in healthcare, there are a lot of data, uh, you know, data masking where data issues are there where they don't they cannot share the data with others there are privacy issues they have to take care of it at a lot in case of healthcare while in e-commerce there are other issues uh like fraud happening and all those things that software developers they look from there and what all different parameters they can set on their application right now again developers they are not just limited to website so i give you an example of going to www.almobeta.com but right now you guys are using applications as well. Now we have multiple different devices. We have mobile device. We have applications on that. You might be using uh, Swiggy, Zomato, uh, not just limited to these two. Just I'm giving you a few common ones. There are a lot of others, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, a uh, lot of different uh, applications are there, apps are there, which you are using on mobile device. That is one type of application built to make sure that your one of the use cases being solved. Then comes to computer. We all are aware about it can be your uh, PC, it can be laptop. So th those are the computers which are physical setup. And there you have already been using it. I'm going to uh, just take this because you guys have joined this session. You might be uh, most of you might be joining uh, or you have joined through the laptop itself, right? Or mobile phone. Maybe. Then after that, after that, if you have, let's say, uh, use tab, uh, that is also one side where tab specific applications are being developed. Then you have now smart TVs as well. So for smart TVs, applications are being uh, developed. So that is also one side of it. Now, the new uh, gen device is going to come up as AR VR devices, right? Oculus, you might have heard about. So these are AR VR devices. Now for that, there are different uh, forms of application which are uh, being developed. Now you have another uh, smart watches. For smart watches as well, there are applications being developed. So all these applications for different, different devices who are going to build it, software developers are going to build it, right? So that's what the more or less the job of software developers are is if I want to sum summarize, right? And software, Again, it's used in various domains, as I mentioned, from business to finance, to healthcare, entertainment, education, all the OTT platforms. There are a lot of, uh, now you see that on OTT platform, millions of millions of users are coming live to watch cricket match. You must be watching, uh, I would say, IPL right now. You will see on the la uh, left uh, or the right top corner, the tracker of how many people are live right now. And that is that itself is a, very huge task or i would say it's an engineering marvel which uh, these platforms have achieved ensuring that your lag is not happening all these users are getting they are doing a lot of interaction maybe sometimes they are pausing it a lot of interaction all these users are doing and they are handling it in a very seamless manner 
right? Be it Hotstar or be it Geo Cinema, all these OTT platforms are handling it. Who are ensuring all these things at the end? Software developers, right? Right. So this is what software development is, and this is what the work of software developers is, right? So at the end, all these applications around you, you see, software developers are part of that uh, development. They are part of uh, some of the component. Maybe they are not working as a full. Some of them are working as a backend developer. Some of them are working as a front end. Some uh, people will only work on the front end development, looking how the look and feel should be. Some of them will be working on the back end, how data should be saved, how everything is getting saved in tables and databases, all these terms which I'm talking about, it will become more clearer uh, in next few slides. Okay. So now the next question is, if you guys are here, you might have heard about uh, software development. I tried to give you a few examples on what is software development, but how, why somebody should become software developer, right? Is there any uh, positive aspect of it or it's just a fad like any other domain? So there are four or five things which I believe which is something which kind of uh, make sure that software developers are right now is a very, uh, I would say, lucrative option for anybody to start their career. And first of all is high demand, right? Right now, all the almost all the startups, they are going to need some kind of internet interaction, even if their product is physical, their product is something which might not require as a, a very big application, but there should be some kind of application, some kind of integration with app, some kind of application should be present on the internet so that users can interact, right? And nowadays, no product is uh, like not smart. Everything you see is can be connected using Bluetooth, data is being transferred to app, a lot of different type of, you know, interactions are happening. So if any startup, even if they want to start it in uh, start it right now, in next one month, they have to at least hire one, uh, you know, software developer or somebody working in software development, right? That's why as we see more and more companies coming in the market, more demand of software developer will always be there, right? So any company, their first hire, when they figure out, okay, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to sell, they are going to need uh, software developers, web developers, and that is why it's huge. Uh, it's in high demand, right? Again, if you are in demand, then lucrative salaries. Again, you can, uh, you know, you can command. If you are in demand, you can demand or you can command the salary because if you have the right skill. Now, that is something which I want to put in. If lot of people are there, they are not going to hire everyone. They are going to hire the top. Uh, software developers, good software developers who knows uh, how to, you know, execute things because in with you, there are a lot of nuances, small, small things which you are going to look at. Uh, why this error is coming? Why right now email ID, if I give email ID in some other format, whether it will accept or not, if I put a mobile number in of eight digits, whether it will accept or not. So there are a lot of different, different nuances with software development, they have to keep it in mind, right? So you need to be very skillful. And if you have this skill, you can expect very lucrative salaries uh, in this particular room, right? And then again, uh, third option or third advantage is the remote work option. The software development field has the maximum opportunity of working as a remote, okay? It has the maximum opportunity of, uh, you know, remote work options. And the reason being, you are going to work from a laptop, you will be connected with internet, with the server and all the things required can be done at any place from any place where internet is present, right? There are few uh, security issues and all those, but again, companies are very smart to solve all those, uh, putting open VPN or some kind of authentication on top of it. But now a lot of companies, they prefer a uh, remote work option for at least developers, right? And that gives you uh, I would say two things, a uh, lot of saving. You can work from anywhere where you don't have to spend. Like uh, I would give an example of Bangalore or Mumbai or Delhi. There you have a very high standard of living, right? You need to spend a lot of money for rent itself. But if you want to uh, be somewhere where the you know expense is not high, but you will get really good salary for it.
So you'll have a really good, uh, I would say, saving which you are going to get in case of remote work. And also the second thing is you don't have to, again, uh, be very fixed as nine to five. It now depends upon you. In case of software development, it's very much like you have a deadline of one week. It will never be told to you that from nine to five you have to work. It will always be based on this work by this time you have to complete it. This gives you, a again, a very... Uh, in terms of your freedom, your, your time that you can utilize overall for your own uh, purpose. Maybe if you are active in daytime, then you utilize daytime for all these. If you are active in nighttime, generally coders are very active during the night because everything is very calm. They want to put their head on this and they generally choose this option as the lucrative one. If you go to office and then try to work on it, it becomes very difficult. So that's why the remote work option companies are also realizing it and you will see the maximum opportunity of remote work is in software development itself then you have entrepreneurial opportunity trust me right now no idea as i mentioned right no idea is going to be without any interaction of internet application or something you can have some product of course but if you want to let's say sell it off through internet you because through internet internet has given us the access to reach out a lot of people right right it has given the access to reach out millions and millions of people not just in india globally right so if you want to utilize the internet you need to know a bit of coding at least you need to know the basic of coding right and if you are from this field after 3 4 years 5 years you will always be an option that if you have an idea, if you have a little bit entrepreneurial mindset where you want to start some business, you have very good uh, you know, skill set with you. Otherwise, during initial days, it becomes very expensive to hire any software developer. Right. So you will try to uh, write the code, at least create the basic of your product on your own, and then you start hiring anybody. Right. It gives you a very good platform if you know the uh, software development concept. Right. And again, you become irreplaceable as well. Right. Because business and all those things, anybody might come. But these skills are something it cannot happen in just one or two years. It requires three to four years to actually become very skillful and very strong in software development. Right. Initial days, you can just start it off. But as I mentioned, right, there are a lot of nuances here and there which you have to uh, be there practically to actually get the hands on and make yourself very good in this field, right? Then at the end, we have global impact. As I mentioned, you are connected to internet. Internet is again everywhere. Right now, you can watch any TV shows, TV series, movies, live uh, session you can join on YouTube happening in USA or a uh, different side of the world. So if you have the internet, if you know how to code and create an application, you can impact globally. Your application cannot just be used in India. It can be used globally as well, right? Like Meta, Instagram, it's not just for one country. It is created. Hardly, uh, you know, 100, 100, 200 people are now working. Instagram, when it started, when it got acquired, only 10 to 15 people were working, right, in Instagram. And the impact, you imagine how big that is. Globally, everybody is using right so this is what i would say the advantage of becoming a software developer right where you get all five combined and at least in the next i would say 10 20 30 years this is not going to go away maybe it will evolve into uh, accommodating more technical things ai and all those things but it will not go away right the application building the uh, different aspect of software development which I discussed, those things are always going to be there, right? So this whole field becomes very lucrative and it gives you a lot of freedom in terms of your timing, in terms of your salary as well, financial freedom you can get. So all these things actually point towards this particular field being a very lucrative field to get into. At least right now in this era, this is just a starting of a very internet based era where each and every device, each and everything which we see around us will be connected to internet through IoT, through sensors and a lot of different things uh, will be or, or everything around us will become smart. Right. So software developers, AI engineer, ML engineer, all those uh, you know different fields are going to come up in the future. Now, uh, again, entry level salary, just to give you a snapshot of uh, you can go and search on internet as well. 
uh, what's the interminable salary. So this is something which you can be very sure that right now in India, I'm just specifically talking about India. If you are starting it off, it's just like starting it off where uh, do you see yourself? If you have the right skill, if you, let's say, focus on right uh, stacks, then you can command at least five to six LPA uh, when you start it off. And it's a really good uh, salary for anybody who is starting, right? It's a really good salary. And in next four to five years, as I have seen in my career or any software developer you interact with, right? Anybody in software development domain, if you interact with, they will uh, tell you that the increment here with skill, with years of experience, it's actually exponential, right? From five to six, next you are going to get eight or nine. Then after that, you will see you can command 10 to 12. Then after that, it is almost like 15, 20. So the growth in career in terms of salary is very high because with time, the skill set which you are going to uh, earn, which you are going to get, that is something which will make you very irreplaceable, right? People generally in whichever company you are going to join, there in the system, you are going to command it a lot, right? You know a lot of small, small uh, use cases, the codes which you have written. Anybody who is going to join, uh, who is going to replace you, uh, will take a lot of time for him to understand everything, right? That's why companies generally, they don't want to lose any software developer. They generally, if you get any uh, offer from outside, you get counter offer from your existing company. And that's how it is happening, right? That's how it is happening right now. There might be some uh, news around it, and that's not just for software development. It's all over because of economy. The whole hiring and uh, firing is going on, right? There are a lot of layoffs are happening. But that is not because software development uh, as particularly being not performing, right? There are other uh, factors. There are other things going on. But at the core of it, if you are, so I myself being, uh, you know, co-founder, starting one company, uh, working on some idea, we understand the or we realize the importance of any software developer, how dependable uh, they make us on them, right? So it becomes very important for anybody. Focus on skill. You will see the growth in your salary. And initial salary itself will be very good in terms of uh, giving you a financial stability. Okay. So now coming to the next part, as I mentioned, right? Different business use cases of software development. There can be, and I have seen, a very, you know, misconception, very clear misconception of when I say software development or web development, so to say, people think that it's a website development, right? Normal website, if you are building, you are a web developer. That is something which people think. But that not, that's not the case. Website development is just one part of it. Website is just the front end part which you see where information is being relayed down to you. But let's say you do the sign up. Right. After you do the sign up, there is some dashboard where how many products you have bought, how many orders you have done. You can, uh, you know, put the request for refund. You can just put the order, uh, you know, all those things. You can increase the number of orders which you want to uh, buy or number of products you want to buy. All those different small, small interaction which you see that makes it a application that makes it makes it a an application which has a lot of different uh, workflows, I would say, right? Apne ek, uh, order add kiya, you added one product, then it goes to your cart. From cart, it goes to your next screen where it is asking for the uh, payment information. Then it is maybe asking or maybe asking for your address, then payment information. Then finally, it is getting confirmed. So all those workflows, the screens which you are getting, that's not a simple website building. That's an application which you have built a lot of different interaction with your system versus bank system versus uh, somebody having the warehouse seller in different area with their system. A lot of interactions are happening in real time, right? That is what makes it a, an application, not just a website where you go and see the information. Now, no, no website is just a simple website. Everything has become and everything has evolved in a lot complex manner. Right. Like website and e-commerce development, all the e-commerce things, workflow automation, as I mentioned, right, there can be workflow automation in terms of if you have joined this event, you will receive an confirmation email from our end. That is kind of workflow automation. You joined it, you registered for this uh, event, 
you got an email from our end you get an reminder from our end right you get a joining link from our end which will uh, take you to this particular link where you are listening all these things these are called as workflow automation then after this let's say after this session uh, you will get further information from our end like how did it go whether you have understood everything or not so all those things are called as workflow automation where nobody has to do it manually automatically uh, it will do the next step uh, based on the previous uh, input, right? Based on the previous what happened, it will do the next step on its own. That's called as workflow automation. Then you have customer relations. I'll not take each and everything, just uh, talk about a few. Customer relation management. So CRM is also a big application where uh, you understand the journey of any customer before they are getting, uh, before they are paying you. Let's say if you want to sell something, uh, as for example, if you want to buy a course, right, at Alma Better to become a software developer or web developer, right, if you want to get that, then it starts from you showing the interest, it gets logged in customer relationship management. Then after that, you show more interest, okay, I want to uh, hear more about it, I want to join an event, then you uh, get a confirmation about email uh, event. Then after that, you get some brochure, you get all these things are different stages of the relation until you decide on making a payment and becoming a customer, right? That is what this whole customer relationship management does. You might have heard about Zoho, right? Uh, it, like Joho has customer relationship management in a very big scale. They have created it. Salesforce, they have also created it. So these are different, different applications. Companies now, they have become Unicorn, Decacorn, just focusing on one side of it, right? Mobile app, app development, it's something which everybody knows, right? Healthcare information system, I already talked about. Financial and accounting software. Again, this is very intricate. How do you file your, uh, you know, how do you file your, a GST tally you must must have heard about if anyone or any one of you if have you have the understanding of tally right tally is a software which helps you in accounting so these con con uh, content management system so you have the CMS system where all these courses videos and everything is hosted there are a lot of examples thinkific is one of the example of content management system you can go ahead and uh, figure you can search about it so like this you have all these different business use cases it's not always very straightforward for each and every company they have their own way of processing things they have their own thought of how workflow should be managed no two company will be same if you compare let's say flipkart versus amazon you will see that flipkart and amazon at the end of it you have the product you go and you place the order you get it at the end in your hand right that's what these two company does but they are in the their workflow their steps how and what type of project they are working on their software developers are working on it's it might be totally different the type of algorithm they have figured out that is totally different so these all are the very broader business use cases which you are looking at it but at the end of it you will see that each and every company even one single company the way they do the customer support might be different than others like we have the uh, live support somebody will have uh, text based support somebody will have uh, voice based support there can be a lot of different uh, configuration that might happen right so everything here now software developers when they join the company they are going to understand okay what is the requirement how the flow should be designed everything how it should be put down and then based on that development is done right so these are the business use cases it's not just like ek cheez kar liya to life mein bas wahi karenge theek hai nahi each and every company each and every time you will have lot of new things to learn lot of challenges you will face in terms of data ingestion in terms of scalability right now might be 1 million people coming in live next after one year you will see 1 billion people coming in then how do you handle that do your is your system ready for it is your system ready for uh, people coming from 190 countries at a huge scale so a lot of different type of examples a lot of different type of issues which you're going to face challenges which you're going to face which you're going to work on right now different roles in software developments i'm going to uh, just give you an understanding right so here mostly any software development right any application i need to tell you this that it will never be like that you are going to design and do everything whole company there is a unit of let's say tech team right tech team 
tech team they are going to work on it not just you as a software developer right there are a lot of different phases of any software being developed imagine if something millions and millions of people are using people are going to use different aspects of it you need to ensure end to end application testing deployment development everything has to be very uh, in a very intricate manner it should be thought of all the components should be designed in such a manner that errors are not coming it's not going down lot of maintenance issues are there so all these things different different uh, people are going to be working together to make this whole software development happen right so overall there are six phases of any software development right if you want to build any application i'm talking about any application let's talk about let's say you want to build e-commerce website right if you want to build any e-commerce website where you have sellers you have uh, buyers and you want to build it right it will go through these six phases to finally come out as live for any user where you will go and you can use the application so here it starts with first analysis where you try to understand when i say analysis you try to understand what type of uh, e-commerce website you want to create are you going to copy exactly as flipkart or amazon as i mentioned it's never going to be the uh, you know same you cannot reach flipkart and amazon on day one so you might start with a very basic i want to create an e-commerce website for ice cream just give an example i'm going to create an e-commerce website for ice cream so what's the uh, what should be the design for this how this whole uh, you know how many users are going to come initially what type of users are going to come initially so all these analysis first it is done first on paper it is going to be analyzed that whether working on this will even become will it be uh, feasible will it be something which again uh, worth the time for all the people in the organization in tech team right that's what the first thing is let's say you want to build a i i uh, ice cream uh, e-commerce website for ice cream so product owners are there product managers are there they are going to design everything okay this is what your home page will look like then once you click it then this is your product listing page then after that this 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 all these things they are going to first think about it and then after that the design part will come right designing may there are two different rules right i'm i'll just skip all these rules product owners product managers they are going to be like uh, looking at the product ka end to end execution, how they are imagining it. Now, the next part, I'll go a little bit depth in each and every room, right? So now when it is fixed, ki, okay, this is how this whole e-commerce website for ice cream should look like, then it will go to the next part as design. Now in design, there are two different aspects you look at. One is UI UX design. UI UX design, it is nothing but how your whole button should look like how your aesthetics are once you click on this button what should be coming out as next then after that what screen should be coming out how uh, uh, these uh, you know pages should be designed the basic design of everything it will be done by ui ux designers and here let me be very clear we are not create writing the code no code is written writing the code is not done by ui ux designer okay no code is written they just design it on a on a wire frame this we call it as wire framing what does this mean just a sample of images you are going to see there are a lot of different uh, softwares for this like figma you will hear about figma so on that you just design whatever you want to execute whatever you want to get it coded first uska a prototype is designed not exactly prototype just a uh, I would say the U visual of that is designed kind of like this, right? Kind of like it can be a simple pen and paper as well. This is this should be the color of this button. This should uh, the uh, whatever should be written here. It should be written as a text. Uh, the font of text should be this. So all those things are decided by UI US design. Though these guys are mostly towards the human psychology. What actually will engage users? What will be soothing for eyes? What is the uh, you know company ka values brand is saying the color combination what should be there so there has to be some consistent color uh, you know followed by color combination followed by any company you go to Zomato you see everything red you go to Swiggy everything you see as yellow more or less yellow right you uh, go to Amazon and you uh, see their color palette you go to Flipkart it's uh, blue 
almost blue you go to instagram it's mostly mix of all colors right so they have their own sense of how their whole uh, you know design should uh, be defined then you have system architect to do all these things you need aws the cloud how the data should go there so that is what is designed by system architect they design everything from a back end point of view that if let's say users are coming in then after that how everything will pan out how uh, you know data will be saved whether my system will be uh, you know system will be able to sustain uh, these many users all those things are done by system architect so one is the front end design ui ux designer how users are going to interact and then next is system architect those guys are mostly working on the back end side of it then once this whole design part is done it goes to development okay it goes to development now once design is done design is approved then the part of software developers or coders come in picture right these guys are coders if you want to become software developer if you want to get into this field then maybe here your uh, job will start in development part your job will start and this is where you will be uh, you know putting your head on you either will be front end developer or back end developer or you might have both these skills right but at a time generally one side of it you will be working on either you will be working on front end development or back end development dono cheez side by side you don't do it right so it's these are two different things either today you will be working on front end development designing the front end uh, or working coding the front end and then maybe at some other point you will be working on the back end so front end is you implement whatever you have been given by ui ux designer okay whatever wireframe ki theek hai this color should be this this button should be here that front end developer will code it out will make it happen in a real uh, scenario so these are just an uh, you know imagination as a ppt all these things like i am showing right now they have designed it right by hand or by some software now these guys will code it to uh, in html css and different languages to make it happen as a web application and back end developers whatever system architect they have designed or whatever uh, is required uh, from front end developers they design it databases kaha pe data store ho raha hai how data calling will be done through api how cloud will be interacted all these things are done by back end developers so back end developers they are more towards the system implementing the back end system front end developers they are more towards the implementing the front end side of it what you interact with what you actually see uh, through your eyes right what you see on the website that is what front end developers are doing but there is a back end side as well which you actually don't see you just see the outcome you click on uh, so more product you click on so more product right you scroll it down at the end you see see more product right you click on that and then again you see some kind of loading and more products are getting sold so when you click there some kind there are some things happening in the back end which again gives the uh, data further data to so it on front end so in front end what do you see and whatever interaction you do click uh, sign up login or delete or order whatever interaction you do lot of interaction with back end data the software aws cloud services is happening and being done by back end developer okay i'll come to each and every mostly in front end and back end as a fresher what i uh, what you will be expected to do and as a uh, you know experienced person what will be expected from you okay now once development is done there is a testing team right there is a testing team who is going to test it solution architect qa engineer tester devops all these are going to mostly test okay uh, the system architecture which has been uh, designed whether it is working right or not right that will be done by devops that is right now working or not qa engineer what is expected uh, to work in ui ux ki ye button click karne ke baad it should go to the next page once next page ka button you are clicking it should show you the uh, description of product whether the right description of product is coming or not it, whether the description and product name is matching or not the image and the name is matching or not all these things are done by the qa engineer and whole this whole charter whoever is working in testing field right once testing is done it has been given go ahead by testing team that to write it's co correct so you have a uh, mode from development to testing now testing is done now you go to the production you make uh, this available for 
millions of users for anybody on internet you will make it available your dot com dot in whatever uh, website you have taken on that particular address your application will be live right so you deploy your system so now your system is deployed who will be involved again devops engineer these guys are mostly uh, you know in uh, involved in or responsible for ci cd continuous integration and continuous development right so there's like whatever is being developed will be available for millions of users a uh, lot of automation in between though these things are being done by devops engineer they are development operation guys right they set up the workflow in this scenario these guys are devops right and again in future uh, back end developers sometimes in uh, like if you are working for a startup right you might not see all these segregation in a very clear manner because in for big companies they can hire all these people but for uh, generally for startups back end developers they will be working as devops as well okay they will be working as a database engineer as well but you will have uh, some tester app, definitely as a different person but devops database administrator deploying the whole thing will be done by back end front end not just front end back end engineers back end developers or maybe full stack developers who is working right? and then at the end you will have some maintenance guys uh, so you have testers again uh, they keep on testing if there is any issue support managers if there are any issues uh, you raise the ticket it goes to the support manager they relate back to the development team the product manager to make sure that those issues are getting resolved uh, there is no application even if you do lots and lots of testing there will be some bug some security issues which will keep on coming for google for any uh, like matured website or matured application i'm talking about they also have this bug bounty uh, you know bug bounty kind of uh, thing which they keep on running if you find any bug which if you find any issues they are going to again they are going to give you some reward for it because they understand that it will never be perfect right it, with time it will become perfect again it will go back some analysis will be done designing will be done development testing deployment maintenance same cycle it will keep on uh, going through with each and every issues with each and every version so also software development you will see that uh, your application your os getting updated every time sometimes it is 16.1 then you will see 16.12 a different version it is asking you to update 16.2 then it might happen that it's a major update your i uh, your app, uh, os itself is becoming now let's say windows 11 windows 12 that's a major shift but small small uh, improvement is always happening so it is never like that your once your software development end-to-end uh, -end has happened your work is done up to company ko koi requirement nahi hai. it will never be like that right it will always be some kind of improvement on top of it something you will figure out uh, by maybe other users they have uh, you know raised the ticket support managers they picked it up they send it to a developer or sometimes developer themselves they figured out okay there is some issue here which why we are seeing right now testers they might see uh, later that there are some things which might be improved so with each and every version uh, like it will be made perfect not at the first one, right and that's why software developers all the people you see here on the screen everybody has their continuous job on a daily basis happening to make the system more and more better and better at the day, right that is what these phases of software development uh, is right and it is going to be mostly uh same in all the companies it cannot uh be done without maybe testing or it cannot be done without maintenance everything each and every step has to be meticulously thought of to make everything in a perfect manner and whatever you are promising to uh your you know uh, consumers users that will be fulfilled if you look at each and every aspect in a very in-depth manner all right so i hope you guys have understood your job at the end if i have to summarize here your job is mostly here whoever has joined this session i'm talking about software development this is where your most of the focus would be right these are the uh, again teams working on developing a software but at the core of it you are going to be the coder you will make it happen uh, from a image or a wire frame to a real coded uh, website right you are going to create it right and that will be taken up by other uh you know people to uh make sure that it's deployed and all those things now coming to the next 
required skills and qualifications right so i want to now go a little bit into uh, focusing just on the development side as a fresher what do you require and in your career if you want to see yourself growing if you want to see yourself you know getting that uh, recognition as really good developer then what all things you should be const uh, you know continuously working upon and making yourself uh, you know aware about that first of all again if you are working as a coder i'll just talk about coder right technical skill is something which is non negotiable right always you would need technical skill be it programming language with all the uh, different aspects of it you have to uh, be aware about it it cannot be done without it right if you really want to be a coder if you want to get into software development field you need to have the technical skill right now the next is project so once you have this technical skill you have lot of skills lying here and here right these are different skills let's say you have learned javascript okay i'll talk about all the languages and all just wait for it this is what your database is these are different different dots which you have connected uh, you know collected now with the project you connect all these skills okay if i know about database if i know about uh, let's say html i know about css i know javascript how do i combine all these skills to work on the project okay so project is nothing but any problem statement if you have got ki okay we want to build a healthcare system okay healthcare system so now you should have this skill to break it down right ki okay to uh, develop this system i need three different user interface let's say this is for uh, user uh, this is for admin right this is for other uh, let's say hospitals aise karke you can just create ki these three systems now in user what all things should what all features what on screen should be there in admin what all things should be. so you should know what to how to make all these things happen maybe the design of these things you might not be working on as i mentioned design is being done by ui ux but once you get this you should know how from this you should be able to use all these concepts of different languages to make it happen then soft skill again soft skill is something in this particular uh, field it's kept on third in most of, most uh, of uh, like different i would say fields like data science soft skill is something which comes even before maybe projects right soft skill is something which is very important you should know how to communicate but here it's on third place where soft skill is important because you have to discuss you have to talk to other stakeholders and you should know how to present your uh, thoughts if you are uh, facing any issues how to discuss on that you should know the uh, you should have the soft skill with you right then you have ability to optimize problems again from here these are very abstract abstract type of i would say mindset which you should be having and these are like very exact skill which you should which you need right you needs few technical skill uh, languages which you need to learn uh, projects you need to work on soft skill communication skill you should be uh, working on net now these are some things which are not very directly shown and not very directly uh, you know taught to you but these are some things which you have to keep it in your mind that you have to be always uh, be a uh, like you should know how to optimize problem right for any problem uh, you can take a harder path longer path or the brute force path that we see right brute force path you can take where uh, if you want to uh, let's say get a person in red t-shirt right you can go and check each and every person and jahan pe red t-shirt aaya then i get this otherwise there can be other maybe there might be other uh, method to get the person who is in red t-shirt right so how to optimize the problem how to think about that that is something which you should always be aware about it not just as a fresher with experience as well this is something which you are going to work on then you should be a quick learner because uh, me myself right now in 8 almost 7 to 8 years i will not say that i do i know everything right i cannot say that i have all the things and i am now i don't want to do anything i'll just utilize my current learning and apply on the uh, you know different system or application no it's not going to happen each and everything which i'm talking about the cloud platforms the languages everything is also getting updated right so you have to learn like earlier we had uh, you know css then uh, tailwind came then after, right now we have here react js nextjs is coming so 
lot of different languages are changing everything is getting updated you have to keep your keep, keep yourself updated with the new uh, developments coming in right and you have to be quick learner because you cannot take another one year to learn one simple thing if you have the foundation strong you will should be able to connect the dots okay in this particular language this is something which i was able to do uh, by applying this command in this language how do i do it okay so quickly you should be able to uh, join the connections make sure that okay this is what i want to do here this is how i can do right quickly you should be able to figure out what you actually want to learn. then multitasker again and thinking out of the box these are very uh, i would say commonly used term multitasker not just for uh, software development i would not say that multitasker and thinking out of the box again this is a different thing but multitask is something which is again uh, everybody has their own way of actually working the optimized manner right i will always say that multitasker is something which i never recommend that you should be multitasker but you should be multi dimensional thinker okay you should be multi dimensional thinker ki okay whatever right now i am doing can i utilize concepts from other side of it and implement it here multitasker generally uh, they try to fail they get, but if you know it depends upon people somebody uh, somebody is like uh, they are very good at multitasking it's fine but i generally not mention this multitasking rather i mention multi dimensional thinking okay whether you can connect lot of dots right and focus on one thing at a time focus on one thing at a time right that is something which i always uh, talk about right but again this is something which is mentioned as thread that's why i have uh, written it here but i wanted to give my thought to it i wanted to give my uh, understanding to it my opinion to it that i always uh, refrain from mentioning that you should be multitasker you should do 10 things at one time never you should do that because software development is something where you have to put all your minds and hands there that whatever codes you are writing even if you uh, forget one uh, semicolon it will throw you an error it might take you half an hour to figure out what happened right and then you will realize you okay i just forgot the semicolon right or some syntax i forgot so it's better to not be multitasker rather you should be multi dimensional thinker that how uh, you know different pages are connected how different concepts are connected in fact how different functions are connected with each other those things are something the connection is something which i always say that uh, you should be thinking about the data from one point to different point to here a point to b point to c how things are flowing in terms of data in terms of values that you should be uh, thinking right not doing the multi task and then at the end and thinking out of the box this is true for all this is true for all domains right human being just uh, giving a very philosophical point so human being as a uh, if we have survived and we are at the top of the chain just because of this thinking out of the box right if you think in a same fashion if everybody is thinking similarly maybe we won't be able to survive right somebody has to think ki okay if everybody is uh, eating it raw uh, how can i use fire right then it made us it gave more nutritional value we are able to grow our brain uh, you know grew in that proportion then after that uh, somebody earlier like using the axe to kill uh, any animal to eat right so now maybe they can just throw something uh, from distance so that they it like very little chance of getting harmed so these things somebody thought of it somebody went out of the box and that's how like human survive so if you want to be best in this field not every day every time you should be thinking out of the box right but you should be not restricting yourself what you have learned okay you should be thinking ki theek hai for some time let's forget ki what's the uh, restriction which i have got generally kya hota na when somebody say think out of the box what does that that mean right and the topic actually i am focusing lot on thinking out of the box because this is something rest everything right until technical skill and all these things these are some things which generally a uh, lot of people are able to understand but thinking out of the box this actually differentiates you from one developer to another right and this actually helps you to get into the top companies right 
and this again this is this will not come as a fresher more exposure you have then you will have more thinking out of the box ka capability so with more exposure experience slowly you get into this top companies now th thinking out of the box is not ki every time i am going to say ki nahi what you are saying is incorrect you should you are not taking you are not thinking out of the box it's not like thinking something complex thinking out of the box is not thinking something complex it's not that right it's just thinking out of restriction there are people you will say ki yaar uh, this is how can we solve it they will say ki nahi yaar i cannot solve it uh, solve it using this because there are restriction in this language we cannot use this or there there are some issues there now thinking out of the box is okay let's forget about restriction now how i can solve this problem right you try to write down you try to think ki, okay this problem should be solved in this particular manner and it will be really optimized right it's a simplest way of simplest way of implementation trust me trust me the thinking out of the box is not to make things complex rather it's the simplest way of solving the problem right that is what is what thinking of the out of the box is right you can make i give an example right you have an animal just giving you a very crude example okay i understand that you might be thinking yaar ye kya bol rahe hain but you have human here you have an animal right if you use a normal sword or axe to just to kill to eat i'm talking about hunter and gatherer right so if you want to kill uh, any animal to eat for yourself for survive right to survive you thought ki okay i am right now using axe maybe i should use something more sophisticated so that uh, it will not harm me but somebody came here and thought ki yaar from uh, you no know, bit of a distance i can throw something right i can throw something which will make sure ki i am not getting harmed so this is a simplest solution instead of making uh, investing lot on making this particular device or making this particular weapon more complex you thought of some simple idea right so thinking out of the box is like this problem statement is there something uh, i can do to make it simple is there something which i can not think about right now the restriction of it but how it should be solved in a very uh, you know effective manner that is something called as thinking out of the box right so when and how do you do that so it cannot be done here uh, can it be learned can it be uh, something which you need to uh, you know which you can actually make yourself better at right because not every time you will be thinking out of the box there are some things which is there you have to use it right so how do you make yourself uh, aware about it ki sometimes thinking out of the box uh, should be done and you should be getting into this it's all about always making yourself aware about what is the problem statement the objective is okay always you have to look at what's the biggest what's the uh, end objective what i am trying to achieve sometimes if we forget about big picture okay your daily task because to achieve this big picture you have all these small small daily tasks which you work on right daily task which you work on so all these small task if you want to make simple and if you want to a uh, little bit go out of the box you have to always keep yourself aligned with what's the big picture what do i want to uh, you know uh achieve at the end so to achieve that always think from that direction okay, to achieve uh let's say 100 uh, users for this to achieve that what should i do right to uh, what should i do now next if you go from the objective side always you will have some creative uh, idea coming in if you come from bottom to top okay from bottom to top if you go always you will think of some restriction some code based ka restriction or some issues you will always that right so thinking out of the box can be done by top to bottom approach okay always remember what's the objective and to fulfill that objective how you can think uh, you can do something in a simplest manner to achieve okay if you go from bottom ki yaar ye issue hai how i will achieve you will be there stuck in the uh i would say issues and the restrictions okay i hope you have understood what i'm trying to say at the end i will say that again these are some things which clearly you can make yourself aware about you can make yourself uh, you know skilled in these these are some things not this these are some things which you should have a mindset of doing it okay 
माइंडसेट इट मींस यू शुड नॉट जस्ट थिंक अबाउट कि इतना हो गया हो गया नहीं हाउ कैन आई मेक इट बेटर हाउ कैन आई कीप माय सेल्फ अपडेटेड हाउ कैन आई मेक दिस सॉल्यूशन इवन सिंपलर एंड इजी टू इंप्लीमेंट दीज थिंग्स आर सम थिंग्स व्हिच यू हैव टू मेक योर माइंडसेट लाइक दैट राइट दैट इज व्हाट द ग्राइंडिंग इज बाकी तो लर्न करना इट्स वेरी इजी ऑल राइट सो क्विकली नाउ Uh, talking about the required skills and qualification technical skill pay specifically so when you are work as a fresher when you get into right so as a fresher and 2 3 years of experience this also i'm going to just give you an idea okay so when you are starting it off when you are starting your journey and i saw like few of you you mentioned you don't know any coding it's fine right it's fine that you are uh you don't know anything right now you want to start it off like mangesh mentioned right so you don't know uh maybe you don't know any of the coding language it's fine but some day somewhere if you want to start it of course you can start right like we generally uh for our course we started from the day zero of it ki okay what is actually programming language it is to interact with machine then how uh you know what is compiler the terminologies which you have heard about how to decode those things so everything we start from very basic fundamentals of computer to programming language to uh you know cloud platforms to deployment everything we discuss in a sequential manner and that is something which might help you right so now as a fresher so you have this programming skill which you need to have either you focus on javascript javascript is something which is again uh very clearly uh, useful in your web development whether there is a there is a mon stack right it's a stack layer where you have mongo db as a back end development you have express js you have react you have node all these things will be uh, helpful if you know javascript and also if you know python this will be helpful in learning one of the programming skills so either you choose javascript to get depth into it you practice all the dsa level questions dsa questions using javascript or you can have the python python helps you in sometimes in back end or server side language as well okay when i say server side language python is helpful in uh, managing the cloud or aws or the gcp azure if you rest apis so database management in these you generally see that python is used and it's more scalable right now coming to data structures and algorithms you choose any one i focus on javascript first okay focus on javascript first and this should be your initial language to actually start your understanding in javascript right then you have data structures and algorithms so as a fresher you do need to get into the a uh, very complicated things you don't need to get into recursion and dynamic programming and it is marketed it is marketed that no matter whether you are fresher or you are somebody who is experienced you need to know depth go depth into dsa and algorithms so data structures how data is structured versus how uh, what all different algorithms are there like here arrays and strings stacks and linked list these are data structures different data structures array is like kind of like this string is your text these are different data structures which i'm talking about same goes with stacks and linked list right so you should be aware about these concepts and these are algorithms how do you search how do you sort it so these are basic uh, i would say algorithms and data structures we should you should be aware about okay not focusing on the advanced side of it not wasting your time because here there is a limit if you only focus on dsa then you tend to miss out on front end or and the basic of back end which you need right so you should give a ample amount of time in all the concepts so that at least you are ready to start a job once you start it then you get to uh, more ex- you get more exposure around where to focus on next how do you take it forward right so these are some things which you are going to uh, focus in terms of dsa right now dsa why it is required lot of times also i get this uh, question that why dsa is required if i know how to use front end and back end why this particular dsa is required again dsa there are two different things right as i mentioned right how do you optimize the problem how do you optimize the problem that i mentioned to you in my previous slide and that is also one of the uh, learning or the skill which is required so learning this dsa gives you that mindset gives you that mindset ki okay current code is taking let's say some time complexity of o n square all these things you will learn how can i may, maybe make this log n how can i optimize my code 
that is something again very important each and every so some questions you will see that if you solve it in a normal manner it will take billions of years but same some something you will change and it will just take five minutes okay just give an example right so these are the logics which you learn when you are going to go through this ds and that's why it's important algorithms how sorting uh, searching divide and rule all those things how do you implement it it is important as a fresher and that's why it is important right it's not something that on a daily basis in your project you are going to write codes uh, as like dsa ka, i'm writing a uh, different graph hash or graph, you don't do it on a daily basis trust me you are not going to implement dsa concept but it will give you a direction if you want to optimize something you will go back to basics and you will try to understand okay this is what i learned during learning algorithms how i can implement so this is what you get in uh, while you learn DSA and in interviews at the end in the interviews you will be asked questions from DSA okay now as a fresher you will not be asked the advanced DSA you will be asked basic DSA questions from this right then goes to your project side front-end development HTML CSS bootstrap react JS all these are some things which you should or you must know if you want to uh, start your career in software developer as a front-end developer. So even if you want to uh, start your career as a front-end developer, you should know all these and basics of backend, right? But overall, if you want to start your career in this domain, you need programming skill, DSA, front-end may HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and React, and back-end may you need Node.js, about REST APIs, database management, and basics of cloud, okay? You sh should know all these, and if you know it as a fresher, you will be, uh, you know, you will have the right skill to get into, right? And how much time it will take? It generally takes overall, if you uh, calculate this, it will take six to seven months to make yourself aware about this whole field, right? Uh, give yourself an understanding of any project which you can implement from zero to uh, one. So zero to the implementation of everything, you will be able to learn and you will be able to use all these concepts to implement it, right? But once you have relevant experience, you are going further, then you will be asked sometimes advanced DSA, you will be asked system design. These are different graphs, trees, has graph written twice, recursion, dynamic programming. These are asked when you are uh, applying for jobs uh, after two, three years, if you're asking like SD2, SD3, if you are aspiring for that, right? Then you have system design, design of system, uh, how database tables should be designed, how your uh, whole uh, flow, workflow should be designed. So those things are called a system design, right? So that is again will be asked because now you are senior. You should not just look at uh, from a low level uh, point of view. You should look at from the high level, right? You should be thinking about, okay, how overall system should be designed. Now cloud engineering a bit, we should know that any cloud you can take up and how you are going to, uh, you should know the nuances of it, each and every side of it. Okay, how do you connect? How do you, uh, what is a uh, different server? How do you manage around those things? You should know a little bit of cloud engineering. I'm talking about experience person. And then you have product management. So for product management, you should know about product management when you are senior because you are, there will be product managers with you, but you as a senior, you will be interacting with your uh, maybe subordinates or somebody who is reporting to you. You are going to manage them. So you should know how to break down your uh, problem statements to small parts. And those small parts will be given to, let's say, three to four people. So one person is working on this part, second is working on this, third is working. That is what the work of product management is. So when you are becoming senior, you should know this particular concept, Scrum and all those things. You should be at least aware about this, that how are you going to manage people? How are you going to a project? Uh, how are you going to manage the project with people, right? That's what this required skill and qualification is. Now, one thing I would like to make uh, very clear here, one thing I would like to make very clear that overall, overall, it's never like here you are from a uh, tech domain or IT domain, then only you can get into the software development. Trust me, software development field, uh, so to say web developer page specifically, I'm talking about uh, as a fresher, mostly front end developers are preferred. So front-end developers, if you want to become front-end developer, 
IT domain or only tech domain, uh, only those guys are going to be going to make it. It's not like that. Okay. This particular domain companies are very focused on skills. Okay. As a fresher, if they are going to hire you, they will be 100% focused on KR. Do you have the right skill? Do you know uh, your, you know, whatever programming language you have chosen, let's say JavaScript or you have chosen Python. Somebody will tell you in other maybe events or master classes you go, people will say ki either Java, C, C++, but generally these are some things as a fresher now becomes, it has become very difficult to learn. Okay. Either you focus on Java, C, C++, either one of these, or I would suggest choose either of these. This will be easier for you to at least start learning it, right? So either JavaScript, it has a lot of other use cases or apart from JavaScript, you can learn one Python, which will be helpful, right? So now overall, if you have all these skills, right? If you have all these skills, no matter even if you are from non-tech background, okay? Non-tech background or non-IT domain, say if you are, then also your profile will be considered because here the overall whole journey starts from assessments. So in our case, almost 80 to 90 percent, even more than that, I, I can say 95 percent, almost 95 percent companies are conducting the assessment first. They don't look at the resume. They conduct the assessment, coding assessment. They will give you five to six questions and then or based and give you like solve these questions in one hour. If you or uh, whoever will be solving the best out of, let's say, 10, 20, 10, 20 students, they are going to choose five to six. And then based on that, they will take it up. Further. They will never focus on key whether in which domain you are, from which domain you are coming from. Always they will be focused on the skills, whether you have the right skill. So it's very rewarding and very, I would say, considerate uh, side of career, which you can take up, right? If your past is not uh, taken into consideration, if your skill is getting uh, into like if skills are getting into uh, the consideration for any student uh, for any company, then you can start new, right? You can put yourself in a different phase of life and think, okay, now this is something I figured out. I am going to give my hundred percent to this, right? And for that, you need to be again. You should have a love for coding. You should have a love for uh, sitting multiple hours. So initial six to seven months, as I mentioned, it's not going to be here. You are going to spend and you are going to get it right. It's never going to be like that. If I tell you the practical side of it, it will take four to five hours. You have to put in effort because learning any language or any new concept, right? It takes time and it will take time to figure out things. Each and every day will become new to you in those six to seven months. So every day you will be learning something new. How do you keep the previous concepts in your mind and plus the new ones you keep on grasping as an EK. Today I learned something and whatever I learned 10 days back, I forgot that. That will happen. That's the nature of a mind. But how do you keep on practicing and uh, making everything in a structured manner so that you retain a maximum percentage of that, right? So you have to really give your 100% in six to seven months. Again, it can be done with job as well. Uh, it can be done. Of course, it can be done without job. So you have ample amount of time. But with job, at least you can give three to four hours on a daily basis. That's a minimum. Three to four hours on a daily basis is a minimum which you have to take up. You take it out in the morning or you take it out in the evening. That's totally on you. Right. But you have to take out at least four hours to actually get into this field. And again, if you want to be in this, this is the field where uh, very minimum intervention of your past will come in picture whether you are from non-tech, non-IT, non-engineering, whatever it is, if you have the right skill, you will get the job. That is for sure, because it's something go and search on Google and you will see the difference. Software development or front-end engineer or back-end engineer versus any other domain, you will see a quite 1.5 times the difference between any other, right? Even I'm talking about data science or any other field, right? You will see it is something which is, uh, which is always going to be uh, you know, in demand, as I mentioned, the first thing after your business idea is uh, developed, the first thing it is done is hire a few developers to start developing things. Okay. So I hope you guys have understood this. I hope you guys have not just uh, gotten into the terms and everything. 
इट्स जस्ट अबाउट दी माइंड सेट ये सब चीजें राइट नाउ इट माइट नॉट मेक सेंस टू यू बट एट दी एंड वेन यू स्टार्ट इट ऑफ थिंग्स आर वेरी स्ट्रक्चर्ड यू कैन स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम बेसिक्स ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट देन यू गेट इन टू एच टी एम एल सी एस एस बूथ स्ट्रैप रियक्ट जी एस यू फोकस ऑन मे बी ओनली मर्न स्टैक नो जी एस रेस्ट इफ यू सो दीज थिंग्स आर समथिंग विच यू कैन जस्ट गो एंड यू कैन फाइंड आउट बट दी अंडर लाइन थिंग्स विच आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट इन दिस सेशन इज it's not going to be the easy journey it's not going to be the straight forward journey it's never going to be that 21 day may become a web developer it's never going to be that right if you want to get into this you have to buckle up you have to make sure that okay next 6 to 7 months i am going to give my 100% to this and no matter what happens i am going to make it right with you have that you can crack this uh, you know whole field definitely now come to the next part once you have all these skills parallelly you will be working on project so you should be working on caption projects with practical application anything you can pick okay i want to uh, you know i want to build netflix ka clone we'll just you can search about it whatsapp ka clone so it's clone it is not like like exact netflix you are going to make but at least like a netflix you can uh, you know develop it can you code it out similarly you can take youtube clone uh, you can take anything and you can make the clone of it right so that is something which will give you a practical application similar to that website you want to create it peer to peer projects on github on github you can find lot of projects which will help you understand and you can contribute you can coordinate that's what is something which is going to always help you these two things focusing on project how you can uh, make yourself better how you can build your portfolio right because you will showcase your project to companies right so what all things you can do you can work on different caption project you can search on google lot of clone projects are present you can work on that you can just you can work on any clone project either you want to make netflix or youtube or something right you can work on github contribute or connect with different people to work on the project there are lot of projects open source project right open source projects you can work on you can participate in competitions now this is something i always uh, mention to all the students candidates who want to get into this field right project in coding competitions on global platforms you just search it on right i'm not going to recommend any platform but you can just go and search there are lot of different platforms you can just start with maybe basic i'll give you one name hacker rank you might have heard about lead code right so let's focus on let's say hacker rank only go to hacker rank you will have javascript competitions java javascript practice problems if you go here and if you compete with people then it gives you a motivation then it gives you a push okay, okay uh, i am getting some recognition right now it's not bad that i have uh, you know scored let's say i am uh, 1000 or 2000 rank right i have got this 2000 rank can i make it better the next time and if you have that positive mindset you will see yourself making better and uh, becoming better and better because competition is something which will push your limit to the next level right because you are in so uh, indulged or you are so you know i would say uh, you know worried about ki yaar this time i want to make it better i want to make my rank better if i want to compete with people i want to improve myself you will push yourself and that is something which competition will always do and if you really uh, you know score good in competition it is recognized by companies as well if you put on your uh, you know project or in your uh, resume about code chef or top coder or hacker rank or some product ka uh, project competition you might have uh participated in it these are considered these are going to be the positive points for you which you might showcase right now this is all about projects very simple start with some clone basic quiz platform or something you can start with you will directly find you can go to even our uh, website our platform and look at what type of projects are present even whatever you choose if you want to go through our uh, course it's something which you are always welcome if you want to do it on your own that is also fine it totally depends upon your uh, you know it totally depends upon your uh, choice if you start with us there is a structure which we have given if you are motivated enough you want to start this if you want to figure it out on your own 
that's something which you can do but with us it's going to be structured learning each and every day meticulously planned what you should do next what type of project you should working on so that is something which you get with us right now next part is soft skill now soft skill may this is going to be the last part uh, what is this software uh, which software are talking about mek now uh, the next is uh, required skills and qualification required skill and qualification uh, in soft skills so we have talked about three things overall technical skill so technical skills we have discussed i discussed about javascript python uh, your front end stack uh, your back end uh, you know concepts which you should know project i have discussed participating in competitions building your portfolio at the end uh, working on different clone type of projects that will help you then i'll talk about the soft skills so soft skills are mostly divided into these uh, four things uh, first thing which i would like to start is the structured thinking okay soft skill may this is something which is uh, very important not just for web development but overall i would say uh, for your life for any domain structured thinking is uh, very important and that is that can be achieved if you practice guesstimates and case study in my college when i was uh, you know studying in at iit kharagpur when i was going through my placement phase right this my professor told me that okay and i was not aware about it i just uh, got to know that okay structured thinking is something which i should do because i was all over the place whenever i used to talk or whenever i used to explain i used to get confused pehle ye bolu ya pehle ye bolu ya ye bolu kaise bolu how should i start how should i end how should i structured my communication that is one thing but that is the outcome of your thinking if you think structurally you will be able to communicate now how do i do it then uh, so one of uh, the professor i am very grateful to him he suggested me that go and start doing guesstimates so guesstimate is nothing but uh, there will be a question ki okay we i am uh, right now in bangalore tell me in bangalore how many uh, let's say how many uh, south indian restaurants are there okay tell me the number of south indian restaurant you are going to make a guesswork but data driven logical guesswork okay in bangalore uh, let's say these many population is there out of all those these many restaurant make sense out of all these restaurants okay uh, these many restaurants should be south indian restaurant so like that you try to figure out the percentage of restaurant at the end, right okay, okay these should be the percentage of restaurant of south indian now these many are the total number which i figure out that this should be there now overall uh, let's say there should be uh, 10000 south indian restaurants in bangalore so i am just talking about randomly here but there is a there is a very interesting rule to it there is a very interesting way of do, doing guesstimate and that gives your mind a really uh, push towards thinking structure and same goes with case study case study is also something this is something where you can start and case studies again uh, will help you in thinking everything in a structured manner okay if you have a case study you have a question first then what is the next question you are asking then how do you justify that question then after that what's the follow up question so case study is what bunch of questions bunch of questions and follow ups that's what your case study is you start with one question ki okay how can i make uh, let's say uh, how can i make xyz company better that's the first question okay so what how right now it's performing uh, with the revenue side say i want to make it better or the customer satisfaction side say i want to make it better okay so revenue side say so in revenue i have now next follow up in revenue what's the current year's revenue versus last year so that's why that is where i see the dip okay it's not growing so how do i make sure that that this particular revenue is going next next is my follow up question and keep on answering and asking the follow up question and at the end you will have some kind of conclusion where you are going to reach that's what the case study and that is what gives you the structural thinking right and this is helpful in everything if you're working on any problem set in any software that is going to help you in structuring your thinking right same goes with analytical skill again this is something which 
I will not say that you should go and solve logical reasoning and aptitude, but again, analytical thinking is something which you should have, right? It will it might come through structured thinking itself because these, I believe, is very much these two are very much directly proportional. If you have structured thinking, you will have analytical mindset as well because structured thinking will always come with some analytical thinking right? or analytical skill. But these are logical reasoning aptitude which you are going to again work on if you are right now in college you want to uh you know go through your campus placement these two becomes again very important because a lot of companies they are going to ask you uh, questions from this right your their assessment is not going to be coding assessment rather the analytical assessment aptitude and logical reasoning right and then you have business communication uh so business communication i'm going to tell you that in soft skill business communication is always right now uh you know it is always mentioned as ki how you speak english is your uh, speaking english is directly proportional to uh, i would say business communication of course this is to certain extent it is true that you should know how to speak english but you are never expected to speak english like a native in india i have seen my you know my uh, both the job right i am right now working in different case studies different problem statements for plus i interact with students i take classes uh, that's my passion right that's what i do now when i interact with students they are mostly like okay i cannot speak in english my communication is very weak no communication is first how do you communicate your ideas no need to be in english how do you communicate your idea in your native language tell me in hindi if you are comfortable with hindi can you communicate okay what this concept is in companies in india it's never like you will always speak in english your 80% of the day with your colleagues with your manager it's going to be con happen con all the conversation will happen in hindi itself or in any other language it's going to be like that you are not going to speak english all the time right so in any language are you able to first communicate your thought communicate your idea that is something you have to work on so body language your voice modulation your confidence that is something which you have to first focus on if you can communicate any idea in your language or any any language then you should just top it up with basic english yeah if you know how to and what to talk about speaking english becomes very easy and that's what you see that in uh, like with us whoever is coming right now getting placed we just focus on 3 to 4 weeks ka business communication and they are like getting lot of confidence because we don't talk about ki yaar grammar padho vocabulary yaad karo synonyms yaad karo antonyms yaad karo and then you will be able to speak freely no that's just the 5% of the thing or even not uh, that much the first thing is talk about yourself talk about your surrounding talk about any one specific topic just in hindi in your native language now analyze it and try to make it in english one first day you will do worse second day you will do little bit better and then all you have to do is how you uh, you know communicate your idea in your language you just translate start translating in english and slowly and steady your mind will get tuned up okay speak slowly speak clearly and try to communicate the idea that's what is required okay so this is what business communication is never never ever compare yourself ki okay i don't know english i might not get hired no it's not like that english seekhna bahut aasan hai communication seekhna you have to put in effort okay there is a difference between these two how do you present your idea very clearly and this is something again very specifically top companies they are uh, these two like if i uh, give you the stars these two structured thinking and business communication these two are very clearly uh, focus very clear focus point from companies or top product companies or top companies even right right so that's what your whole uh, thing would be right that's what your whole uh, i would say uh, your focus point would be and the last point is personal branding again uh, it is a new age requirement i would say it's a new age requirement where your personal branding something you should keep on saying 
you cannot expect that you should be a big YouTuber or successful blogger or something. No, it's something which you should do, right? You share it on LinkedIn. You will see at least uh, what we try to do from our end. Uh, again, I have my mentor. I have a lot of people I look upon, right? So I try to uh, follow their blog. I try to follow their videos. Plus, I generally mention to our students, you see, you should follow someone on internet. You should follow uh, someone on internet as in you should uh, you know follow someone as a mentor and then try to you know put up your opinion as well. You should put up uh, your uh, opinion in uh, public on LinkedIn and you will see at least start with sharing your achievements. Then start sharing about the opinion on any topic. If you anything is coming to your mind, just put your opinion and say that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Right. At least it will not put you uh, as something which you are going to putting as at a, as a fact. Put your opinion. That is something which is very important. And you will see if you go and search for alma mater students, a lot of students, they realize it and they do it. Right. And this is something you as a uh, you know candidate getting into it will have a lot of benefit. And it has a lot of long term benefit. A lot of people, a lot of, uh, you know, people from different companies, they start looking at your post, even if something they liked it, they will try to seek you. Okay, let me just figure out if I can, uh, you know, refer from uh, refer your profile to any of the uh, openings available that might happen. And I have seen almost 5% to 6% on monthly basis. We see that people whoever is, uh, you know, posting out something and in, in Al Alma better this, we take it very seriously. We push students to do it, right? They get from different companies from HR ski. Okay, we are looking for uh, this. Can you just send me your CV? These things happen. These you might think right now that this is a very far-fetched thing, but if you are in this field, if you have the right skill, these things you get, right? Because companies they are not there to reject you. They are there to find the best candidate, right candidate for their job, right? If any company runs on employees, right? Even if all these layoffs right now, you must be hearing about every company. Uh, you know, every company, they make the profit or runs on the employee internet application, anything you see, that's the outcome of smart people uh, worked in that company, either right now or in the past, right? They want to uh, keep really smart people in that company and they want to again grow and employees or the smart people can only help them to grow. So that's why you they want to see you part of their team if you put up yourself as a smart person if you put up uh, yourself as someone who can really uh, you know join the company and make the difference all right now next uh, let me talk about the interview process right in general how uh, right now what we have seen okay what we have seen in our case uh, so again all the companies hiring for uh, Specifically, I would say web development, front end development. So, front end developer, or in some cases, back end developer as well. Right? Few companies they have hired for a uh, specific like AWS developer. So, SAB roles. Hai. So, all these roles specifically, I'll talk about when these all are related to uh, software development. Right? And this is not just limited to, uh, let's say, top companies, all the companies we have seen, right? Mostly there are five steps, right? Mostly there are five steps. It starts with the application. We share the application with our hiring partners or you applying from any job listing platform. Then comes the next part, which is technical assessment. So once your application is submitted, then next thing would be you will be receiving technical assessment. If you, let's say, uh, fall in the experience well, a bracket, if they are very strict on experience, then they will uh, put the filter on. Generally, in software development, they don't put the filter of tier one uh, college or all those because they know that development or software development is a field where college doesn't matter. At the end, skill will matter. They will not. Uh, tier one college matters when uh, they want to uh, put you with some client. Okay, If you are a bragging factor, if your profile is a bragging factor for the company, then they would want someone from IIT, IAM. They, when, what happens? Let's say uh, when you are looking for jobs in business development or somewhere as a you know, spark person for the client, 
right? Then company will say, "Ki see, I have a uh, very smart people from IIM, from IIT, right? They are going to work for your project. So there, they want to grab that client. They want to get that client on board. Their college matter. But in your case, as a developer, they are not going to say, "Ki these guys are going to code for you." As long as if that's their own product, they are going to be mostly focused on ki skills hai ki nahi. Or experience hai ki nahi. So they are mostly focused on ki agar experience chahiye, to experience ka filter they are going to put. And whoever is now coming out as the final, they will be getting the technical assi assessment, right? In that technical assessment, mostly coding question and basic quiz questions are asked, right? And sometimes you might be expecting some guesstimate or case studies as well, right? So coding quiz, guesstimate, these things you are going to get. Now. Uh, this candidate may, may compete a coding or technical challenge on and before the initial. So, so after this, they try to put up some uh, threshold, ki, okay, more than based on the average and based on the output from all the candidates, they try to put a filter and then maybe they will just choose 10 to 20 candidates to take the further rounds. Once this is done, then it goes for round one. Round one may mostly it is done by the immediate manager, right? Manager who is going to manage you they are going to take it in the round one right they are your maybe colleagues or manager will be taking the first round and mostly first round is on the heavy technical things again you will be asked coding question on the go during the interview in front of interviewer you have to solve it or after that uh, on your projects there will be deep discussions that's your round one and again based on companies to companies let's say if you are going for a big company like amazon or google they might have they might have lot of rounds right not just two rounds they might have five rounds okay five rounds each round let's say first round will be only focused on uh, coding where somebody will come and ask you coding questions second round will be only focused on case study third round will only be focused on something system design so that's how they have designed let's say five rounds but in general for normal companies, for all the companies around it, there are two rounds overall because they also don't want to spend a lot of time to just hire one person or two person, right? So they first they uh, take round one if they find you good. Then it goes to the next level manager who is generally thinking, who is going to ask you mostly question on, uh, you know, the case study, the system design. How do you think about the problem statement here? It's very objective, okay? Objective, it means what you have done, the coding which you are doing is correct or not. In the round two, it's mostly getting into subjective part, uh, your design thinking, all these things are asked, right? How, uh, like what type of thinker you are? Are you uh, going to be, you know, uh, something, someone who will think from a bigger perspective, you know about the bigger picture, or you are just a coder, those things it's being, it will be figured out in step four, right? Once these three, uh, four steps are done, the last round is HR round. In, generally in HR round, uh, negotiation, cultural fit, teamwork, these things are being assessed and at the end you are getting a offer letter, right? So point is, what do you get from it? First of all, your technical assessment, this is where, this step is where you are going to, you know, get the maximum competition from people, right? Here for to get the clearance in step two, maybe thousand profiles you are competing with. I'm talking about outside, thousand profile you might be comforting, uh, you know, competing with. So this is something which you have to be really uh, focusing on, you know, co uh, coding practice on from different platforms, making yourself the best in one language. Let's say you pick JavaScript, you practice a lot of questions and a lot of things around that. You make yourself comfortable in that, right? And not just maybe number of questions, the quality question, the timing which you have to uh, ensure, all those things you do so that you are clearing this step two. If you clear this step two, then step three and step four, these are still very easy to clear. But the step two is the toughest, uh, you know, part where you have to focus on, at least as a fresher. As you go a little bit experienced, maybe your step two will be ignored directly from application. If your profile is right, you your uh, round will be, you know, scheduled with the manager. Your technical assessment is not taken. Directly discussion sessions are done. But as a fresher, technical assessment is something which you have to go through anyway. 
All right, so I hope you guys have understood this whole thing and how to focus, where to focus. Few sample interview questions. This I'm talking about uh, during the SD interview, what we have seen uh, people are being asked. And these are very famous questions. And in question, in uh, all these uh, interviews, you will not be asked very difficult questions. But the situation itself is so tensed, right? You are sitting in an interview, right? Nothing can be more tense than that. You are expecting your career to get started. You want to uh, get into a company to work for, right? So you have a lot of expectation, a lot of, uh, you know, fear of failure in your mind. Inter interviewer, they want to assess you from X to uh, A to Z, everything they want to know about you. The situation itself becomes very tough. Questions are never going to be very uh, tough. The situation is tough and that you have to make sure that you are uh, working on it. You are confident about it. And that happens uh, if you want to talk about like how to build the confidence, then it's all about, you know, uh, all about facing new faces. Okay. This we follow at Alma Better when uh, we prepare our students, uh, when we talk about how to gain the confidence. It's all about facing new faces. Okay. are face face but understand this. Uh, what does this mean? Like more and more new face you are going to face. Right? You are going to interact with, you are going to talk to, you will become more confident. Your almost 20 to 30 interactions will be done with different, different people. Right? So then in that scenario, when you go for any interview, it just becomes another interview where you are seeing somebody new and you will be able to answer your uh, question. Right? You will be able to answer it because what happens? Uh, if all those mock interviews you are doing with one person, you get comfortable with that person. And then again, if somebody new is coming, you will feel that, uh, you know, zitter in yourself. You will feel that fear in your uh, voice and, uh, you know, confidence. That's what it is. These questions, if you look at principles of uh, OP, provide an example how you have applied all these in your previous work. So these are like inheritance, abstraction, uh, polymorphism, all these are encapsulation. These are the principles of Oops, right? Things are very simple and straightforward. But again, how do you explain it in an uh, interview? Are you able to explain it? That is what will be uh, will matter, right? These, this is one of the coding question which has been asked. Difference between array and linked list. Again, very clear, straightforward. If you know it, you will be able to answer. That's why I mentioned linked list and array. These are asked. Uh, URL uh, sorting services like Bitly. Very important, very straightforward, but very fundamental thing. How do you design this Bitly? Right. In distributed systems, what are the key challenges and all these things you learn. So whatever I mentioned as a fresher, all these things you are going to understand key what I have given you after you spend six to seven months, you will see these questions are not going to be tough. Are you able to explain it confidently during the interview? That is what the question is. OK, these are the few uh, coding questions. Reverse a given string. And distinct number. These are few questions: insertion, deletion, transversal, in singly li linked list. These are very, uh, I would say, common questions which you are going to get. And trust me, we are in this, like doing uh, or getting the questions from students what they have been asked, and we never see any question really tough which no one can solve it. It's never going to happen. Questions are very, very straightforward. All it is, uh, all you have to do is focus on fundamentals. Okay. If you focus on what is a string, how do you uh, deal with it? Then you know how to reverse it as well, right? How do you solve this question uh, given a string containing just the characters like this? Determine if the input string is valid, right? So you have to you know, understand the fundamentals, how this is working, how this is working, what will happen if all these things are there in the string, you will be able to understand. Okay. Now, there are type of case studies I'm talking about. So again, as I mentioned, this is something which will be asked in your round one or initial rounds, where very exact technical questions are asked, where very fundamental technical questions are asked. This is also mostly from round one, right? Now, in round two, you will encounter the case study question. Now, they will be giving you some example. Ki, okay, uh, Facebook or Meta, Meta mobile app development, do it. And how are you going to design it? Give me the uh, design of each and every component here. 
Netflix recommendation system. How are you going to design this from a developer point of view? How things are going to be designed? Okay. Uh, Tesla auto autonomous driving software. Now, how this software will work? Kya kya components hai you should be thinking about? It's not like you have to code it in 30 minutes. No, you just have to get into the depth of it. Okay, I want to design an autonomous driving software. Okay, so for that, there will be one uh, user, one admin panel. Now in admin panel, these might be the, uh, you know, these might be the use cases. These might be the features in my user. These might be the future. One software will be working with my car, right? In my car, there are horns, uh, brake, accelerator. All these things will be uh, managed by this software. So how do you design this? All you have to is think from your perspective, give all the thoughts and how structured you are. As I mentioned, it's very important to be structured. You have a structural thinking and that comes with those case study and guesstimates to actually make yourself better. And these are few important questions. If you, uh, you know, follow or if you just go and Google about these four to five, if you look at the solution for this, then after this, these five will help you solve another 20, uh, 10, 20. You will understand the pattern of it. Then the fifth one, Slack real-time collaboration platform. So Slack is the, uh, I would say, professional, it's the biggest professional uh, communication platform. So we also use it uh, with students as well, uh, as well as internally. So we use this Slack. It's kind of like WhatsApp for business. Okay. WhatsApp for business. So of course you have a WhatsApp for business, but it's uh, something which is kind of communication. You do, you share your file, day-to-day -day work, you want to coordinate, you can do it on uh, Slack. Okay. So how it is designed, that's what will be asked. So that is all uh, guys from my end. I tried to give you all my bits on bits and pieces, which I have gained, uh, I have seen uh, during both my journey, during my professional journey. And right now, when I started interacting with students, what all like what all realistic things I have seen uh, people starting from zero and then getting the offer letter at the end. I have seen their journey uh, realistically, how much time they have to put in, what all skills are being asked. How do you actually make yourself you know, confident about each and everything? So this is something which I wanted to give you guys. And at the end, the question here, uh, which I which we started with, right? Cracking software development interviews. There is no, I would say, very, you know, masala or secret to it. There is nothing, right? It's all about starting from day one that, okay, you make up your mindset. Okay, this is what I want to do, right? The first question is that, is this what I want to do? If your answer is yes, right? You can figure out, okay, uh, what developer does, why become developer, what is the salary, what are the use cases, answer, question, like think about the question and try to get the answer. Once you have figured out on day one, ki now this is something I want to take up, then give your 100% to it. Now there is no going back, right? Because this journey is not going to be of two days. No, you have to be consistent. You have to be very honest with yourself that at the end, if I'm going through this, I will, uh, you know, learn these skills. And if I learn these skills, I know that after six months, I'll get the job. So I should not panic right now. I should focus on the right thing, right? If you do this and if you start this journey, you will get the job at the end. You will be able to crack it. The difficult part is being consistent throughout the six to seven months. Trust me, uh, it's very difficult for any human being, any human being. It's not just for you or somebody. That's where you see the uh, difference between successful versus not so successful people that very few are successful because the consistency is something which successful people, they generally follow and whoever you know, left it in between, they are still somewhere figuring out again what to do, what not to do. So it's always like if you have one uh, thing in your mind, this is what, what I want to do, put your full focus on that and next six to seven months, eight months, it will take. So make up your mind accordingly that six to eight months I'm going to spend. I'm going to go very structured manner, waiting all the right skill and you will see the difference. You will see the result at the end. Okay. That is all uh, from my end, guys. I hope I was able to answer and give you a direction. This masterclass, these are masterclass. We generally do it to spread the awareness 
uh, ensure that there are a lot of uh, you know information going around in the internet where uh, in 20 days 21 days 30 days you can become it and people generally take up that wrong expectation and they try to lose the motivation then they see how difficult it is they started that okay in 30 days only mai ban jaunga a uh, web developer front end developer they start with this uh, wrong expectation and just after two days they see ki yaar ye to nahi ho payega it will take lot of time right that mismatch in expectation that actually creates lot of depression in people and they are not able to you know get the success at the end so if you have the right expectation ki i am going to keep my mind free for next 6 to 8 months and go through it uh, in a consistent manner you will definitely achieve what you want right that is what i wanted to discuss and give you an overall understanding that how do you crack it if you have the right skill you are going to definitely get the job because there is no dearth of it it's very high in demand now coming uh, to this ai and all these things coming in picture so you have to be very uh, you know assured if you go and search on google as well look at what experts are talking about right people who are actually in the industry what they are talking about there are a lot of fear mongering going on ki yaar ai aayega aur sab kuch kha jayega it's never going to be like that aise karke nahi hoga theek hai always always people who are adapting ai right in their job that is something uh, which will give you a uh, you know a different direction altogether you have to use ai to make your work in a faster manner to do your work in a faster manner and you your quality of execution will go up with ai your mundane jobs your mundane task will be taken up by ai you will be more towards the thinking side of it okay you will not be doing uh, repetitive things a lot of things uh, you know ai will take up but you will be mostly towards the research part thinking out of the box wala side a uh, more optimized process you will be thinking on that should that is going to be your job ai will take up maybe a lot of uh, mundane task which you are currently doing which i have done it like looking at the data thinking about ki, okay how it should be cleaned and lot of things i spent days and days on that right i spent that so ai might be taking up few percentage of that i will have some time more time to think about okay how i can make something better so that's what uh the ai is going to the impact of ai is going to be there uh, right now the layoffs and everything you see it's going to get stabilized right it there is a cycle we have seen from past year to this year uh things are still right now improving how it was one year back we are into this placements and outcome right we are having right now more than now 800 hiring partners uh we have seen the challenges ourselves we have seen companies directly giving the offer letter and just after one week they saw they mentioned you know we have stopped the hiring these type of situations we have dealt with but now things have gone better things will come on track because always there will be job at least for tech domain i'm talking about there will be job there will be uh, people working in lot of companies they over hired over uh, there were lot of over hiring done in the industry that's what is right now recourse is happening things will happen but overall what i feel that in the future if you are thinking ki okay i want to get into tech field right now it's the right time slowly and steady again uh, you know you are going to see ki okay uh, people are coming in uh, getting the hike if you start it today you will be able to get this in next 6 to 8 months and you will see yourself in a very good position right if you have the tech mindset if you have the analytical mindset anything after this you do whether entrepreneurial or business or anything you will have an edge right so you have to just think from a very uh, i would say analytical point of view that what's your interest do you really want to get into something where coding is involved do you want to take this as a challenge or is there something else you have the interest in you want to pursue that is also fine if you have interest in arts go up, go ahead lot of scope is there right if you are interested in something else uh, some other thing let's say you want to become a youtuber or you want to become a content creator just be that person right but whatever you take up it takes time to uh, you know achieve what you want to achieve same goes with coding as well if you decide it right now it will take some time to finally achieve what you want. all right all right let me quickly take now is there anything in q and a santosh has asked salary 
salary as i mentioned right so initially fresher uh, you will expect something uh, around 5 to 6 this i'm talking about very average uh, 5 to 6 is something which you can expect as a fresher right and going beyond this uh, with experience then sky is the limit after 6 7 8 years of experience i we are from in alma better itself we are paying almost 70 to 80 uh, lpa to our engineers uh, working on different different things this, there are a lot of things which are complicated right which those guys are handling so that is something again very high end site with seven eight years of experience but as a fresher it's mostly around five to six being realistic and uh, in two to three years you will be somewhere around seven to ten okay and then after that it totally depends upon next 10 to 20 to 30 that is how it's going to be all right all right Okay, so there are, uh, Amy K is saying there are 32 South Indian restaurants in Bangalore. 32 South Indian restaurants, only 32. Uh, I'm sorry, 32 South Indian, though, it's in my area right now. If I go on Zomato and look at it, just uh, you know, uh, talking this on a lighter note, uh, 32 South Indian restaurants are just in my area of 5 kilometers, right? If you look at the Bangalore, there might be a lot of South Indian restaurants, okay? So I'm not talking about like name the chain and exclude all the chain restaurant. You have to include all the things. You will see a lot bigger number. All right, all right. Now, uh, Mangesh, I have bhi 12th clear key science stream. Mein mujhe bahut it's fine, Mangesh. As I mentioned, you are going to start with zero, uh, and it will start with zero. Your journey will start from zero, and you will be able to uh, get it in the next six to eight months. You will know that how to. Uh, what is going on, how to get into this, how to work on projects. That's how it is going to happen. How to build a resume. Okay. So how to build a resume again. Uh, first of all, I'll give you one uh, link. Let me just quickly give you. Okay. This is our platform. If you want to use it free of cost, you can use it. Just giving you out of this that. Uh, we share it with our students also. It's free, of course. So we share it with everyone. Uh, since Mithunjay, you have asked this question. So you can use this platform. It's a free uh, platform which you can use, developed by us uh, using an open source, uh, you know, uh, open source software. We have used it. Open source application. We have used it. On top of it, we have built it. So you can use it. And now on top of it, in your resume, if you look at it, there are mostly four components. Okay, there are four components. Let me mention that in a very quick manner. Okay, so if you want to, let's say, build a resume, here only I'll write it. There are four components. First thing is very important that your education. Right, you put up your education uh, in terms of your, you know, uh, where you have done uh, your graduation or all those things. That is something you have to mention it in your resume. It's going to be, first of all, resume is going to be one pager, right? If you want to, even if you have 10 years of experience, you should have one pager resume itself. Generally, that's my uh, recommendation. Again, if you have done a lot of projects, it's fine to go till two page, not more than that. But at least initially, too, you should keep one pager, only, one page resume. Education is something. Now, second, which you should be focusing on is projects. Okay. You should include as many projects as you can and that too with relevant, relevant uh, portfolio links. Sif, just don't put the link, at least some showcase uh, of those projects you can do. Can you give me any link which I can click on and see what you have done in that project? Maybe link of some website, link of some hosted uh, application which I can just figure it out. Okay. Third part is you should be really, uh, you know, talking about the. This is what the project is. If you have got some kind of certifications. Okay. So projects you have done education you know, certifications. It can be anything you have taken certifications from let's say Coursera or Alma better or any other platform you have done some kind of code uh, certifications okay and the fourth part is any competitions or uh, any platform which where you have done the uh, coding like top coder right 
क्या कॉम्पिटिशन किया क्या प्लेटफॉर्म पे आपने किया जस्ट टू शो केस ऑन हैकर रैंक वॉट यू हैव डन दिस इज योर फोर्थ पार्ट विच यू सो इट राइट एंड नाउ दिफ्थ पार्ट मोस्टली इट इज not around the technical things what are your other interest again this is something which i mention it as optional because sometimes these four things itself will take up all your uh, all your you know uh, space in the resume fifth part might be mentioned instead of this fifth one more thing what you can show is the publications okay publications is something it's not just the research paper you have published you can write a simple medium article article on medium medium is a uh, application or website where you can go medium.com you can just write there you can you have written a article on linkedin that also you can put it so publication is also something which you can put maybe in in place of interest this is something also uh, which is very important these five things we should be focusing on or i would say six things education you mention it very clearly what you have done what you have mentioned uh why i have put this education at first because that is something which you guys are like a lot of people are uh, very uh, you know under confident about but you should be proud of whatever you have done just put it there right then next comes uh, what you have done projects then certifications then you have competitions then you have interest or publications or i would say publication should be given uh, more at, uh, you know more priority over interest so i'll give you directly i'll show you the platform what we use generally this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like just for mithun jain everyone this is how it looks like if you want to uh, use it let's say if you want to create any resume right if you want to create any resume create sample resume all these things are mentioned here that certification skills which you have got right skills which you have mentioned profiles then you have summary experience education projects so you can choose any template and you can create it so mostly those are some things which you are going to mention it clearly understood mithunjay i hope i was able to answer your question and gave you the platform as well where you can uh, build your resume Uh, other there are other platforms as well where you might have to pay uh, some amount but here you can do it free of cost you are free to use any other platform as well this is just my suggestion to you you can use this to uh, build your resume all right any other question which i am missing right now so i have krishna here krishna uh, i have krishna and pratiksha uh on the call now pratiksha i uh, request you to take it over if you want to interact interact with our students uh, talk about how we do it what do we do it right you can take it up from here pratiksha are you able to hear me i think students are here just unmute yourself oh yeah hi everyone hi all so maybe yeah uh, welcome hi. to the stage uh pratiksha hi, just hi. i will make myself uh, out over to you so we can interact with our students thank sure, you sure. thank you thank you all yeah so hi everyone uh, so i hope the session was very informative and now we are going to talk about how alma better's dashboards look like and what are the courses that we are offering right so before starting the we'll show you everything in detail so i just wanted to ask like which language you all are comfortable for hindi or english or can i speak both the languages so can i get in the chat box great others so i will speak the majority will say so can we go ahead please just waiting for you guys to reply in the chat box okay so i just got one answer and it is for the both the languages got it so i will use both the languages here and just give me a thumbs up once you see my screen
Yeah, I hope my screen is visible to you all. So today, welcome to again to the master class. So today we are going to talk about the uh, Alma Beta and how our courses are going to look like and what are the things that we are providing to our students, right? So uh, let's start with the learning platform first. So we uh, here we provide the classes in groups. That is that you will be interacting with your fellow mates and you will be doing projects in a team as well, where if you have any concerns or anything, so you have a one on one session with the mentor as well. And at the end, you will be get ready for the job. So this is how our learning platform look like, where you will be having a mixed uh, people in the group. For example, it, is, it will be a fresher and the experienced one. So the person who is fresher, so they get uh, so much information and even they can uh, see everything and they can learn from the peers. So that is the best part I can say. Now coming on the next part. So uh, why Alma Beta? So here we are having, uh, we are covering every topic from basic to the professional level. And uh, like everything is going to cover from scratch. So if person is from non-IT background as well, like if you are from BCom or a arts background as well, or a commerce background or a pharmacy background, so you don't have to worry for that because here we are going to cover each and everything in detail, right? So everything you are going to learn from basics to the professional level. And even we have the people, like we have a majority of people who have uh, commerce or arts background and they get placed in the company. Now coming on the next part, that is uh, we are having uh, proper live sessions, that is 100 plus live classes with a lifetime access to recorded lectures that in case if you missed any session, so you will be having a recorded lectures with you as well. Then we are covering a 20 plus capstorm project plus 1000 plus coding problems and assessment. So here it will be a 20 capstorm projects and there will be a coding assessments as well. So here the classes will be held twice a week only and in which you are covering, like we are mainly focused on hands on practice. So you will be having projects, you will be having coding assessments, you will be having quiz. So it will be better for you as well where you need to work more and where you need to focus more. Now coming on the next part, that is daily doubt res uh, resolution session. So this is with the one-on-one -on -one mentorship session that I was talking about in the last slide. So here, we are providing one-on-one -on -one session. So for example, you doubt here. So you don't have to wait for the next class to happen. So you can solve one on one. So this is the best part. Our trainers are available from morning 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday. In case if you have any doubt, so you will be having one on one session. So you don't have live sessions attend or you are working or sometime in case if you missed any session. So you don't have to worry because you have this doubt solving sessions. Then 50 plus mock interviews are there. Pe aapko, we will going to help you for the resume building as we already explained, as Alok already explained you about that. So we are going to help you for the resume building, for the LinkedIn profile and for the mock interviews too, before going for the final interview. And again, it's a 100% job guarantee program where we are having 700 plus partners with us. I hope this slide is clear. If you have any questions, any concerns regarding anything, up loop chat box will accept at the end of this uh, I will going to take all the questions and will answer for sure that's all now coming on the learning activities so here again we are uh, focusing on the live lectures proper live lectures you will be working hands-on experience uh, practical knowledge plus you will be working on several projects and assignment to understand the actual aapko baad mein ja ke kaise ek data science person or a web developer kaam kaise karte so you will be working on live projects then the group discussion will be happening so group discussion is something where you will exchange your ideas or aapko kuch bahut cheeze uh, for the people who are fresher and the people who are experienced so aapko bahut cheeze aapas mein interaction karte ke liye seekhne ke liye milega Next is we have one-on-one -on -one mentorship session. This is the best part. I will show you in a dashboard that you can book one-on-one mentorship you can book for yourself. Then we have a guest lectures. Guest lecture is with the IIT trainers that uh, we have uh, collaborated with IIT Guwahati. And then is the community participation. We'll show you the community page where we put our success stories, 
एंड इवन देर विल बी अर रैंक गिवन टू एवरी पर्सन इन योर बैच सो यू कैन सी की आपका रैंकिंग क्या है एंड देर विल बी अल्दी कॉम्पिटिशन एज वेल इन इन अ बैच Now, uh, mandatory for Almax. Almax. What is Almax? It is basically our placement, right? Where the Capstone projects and the other competency challenge will be there. So we'll explain you and we'll show you everything in detail in the dashboard. Now, these are the hiring partners that I was talking about. So these are the seven hundred plus companies that we uh, that hire from us. So it is like Amazon is there. We have Vidan too. we have tech mahindra essential will be there jp morgan kpmg so these all are the companies we have mncs we have startups we have so many companies so in total there will be a 100 plus companies are there so you don't need to worry for your job right yeah let's talk about the salary package now so this is the salary package that our students uh got already so this is data basically where we have calculated like for the freshers how much they salary get so ye basically ek idea hai ki kitna salary package after the course aapko benefit karega so it is 5 to 7 lpa then is if i talk about the average so isme aap average dekho it is 8 to 9 lpa so basically jab bhi aap jate ho if i particularly talking about the data science course so usme salary package jata hai 8 to 9 lpa and as alok told us before that ki agar web development se ho so you will be having the salary range between 5 to 6 as a fresher jo majority ke liye jata hai right is that clear guys anything that you want to ask or above 10 tab jata hai when you have a good experience at least 2 3 saal ka experience ho or the person who is already a data and jisko prior experience ho so they can move ahead for that above 10 right now we will going to show you our uh, instructors and mentors so uh, they all are the instructors and the mentors on our platform so here they uh, there are the names even you can search them on the linkedin as well if you want yeah so all are from the company all are the from the uh, good having a very relevant experience and they have a much knowledge that they will deliver you everything in a appropriate manner now these are the success story that i was talking about so the basically the success stories which where you will be having the people have non it background and unko guaranteed job mila plus package unka 7 to 8 lpa laga so as i told you ki doesn't matter aapka background bcom hai arts hai it's purely depends upon your skill set ki aapka skill set basically kaisa hoga right any concerns anything till now if you want to discuss a part will go through with the student dashboard how it is look like yeah so let me sh stop sharing my screens and we'll get back so is there anything that you want to ask from me or anything that you want to or we can directly jump on the student dashboard yes no anything guys please be interactive little bit is this free course uh, no dear it's not free course uh we charge some amount in starting and we charge the later on the placement fee as well so free nahi hai i don't think much free hota hai aajkal so whatsapp is the or the whatsapp is the free. uh there is no free i guess you have uh, like uh, read it wrong because aajkal data science course or any other course i don't think someone is providing the free course Okay, so what is the fees? We'll tell you. Firstly, we'll show you the uh, dashboard how it looks like. Our dashboard, see, stay till the end, and you will see the. I will show you one thing. Explain. Karogi. We'll show you our courses as well. Everything. No worries. No worries. Don't be. Don't be sorry. Yeah. So just let me know once you see my screen. Just again, give me a thumbs up. And uh, okay. so will you able to see my screen okay so this is how our dashboard look like so currently i am enrolled in data science program as you all can see so this is how our home page look like so we have two type of the course one is the certification course and second one is the uh, masters degree program so in certification course as well we have two categories 
that there will be a normal alma better certification that is again the six months of the program and with the iit guwahati right the other one is the wolf university program basically it's a masters in data science program so in masters in data science it is again 12 months of the program where iit guwahati certification is included right so let's talk about firstly what we are covering in this so in total it you will be covering six modules in total so again each module will be having one month right so you will be having uh, six modules in total starting with uh, let's talk about firstly about the uh, data science program so in data science program you will be covering about python sql power bi is there then we have uh, tableau machine learning and at the end will be having a ai as well right and if i talk about the uh, web development so in starting we are covering javascript then we are having html css then we have front end back end and uh, then we are having cloud computing as well so here in this course this is how your dashboard look like and uh, this is the coding assessment that i was talking about we'll show you one by one all the things and this is your quiz assessment basically quiz assessment will be held after every session as well right so these are the webstorm projects that you will be going to cover so let's talk about one on one so here it will be a learn tab where you will be seeing all the detail of uh, the course right for example here you want to learn for like 6 months ka course hai, in short aur aapko 3 to 4 months mein khatam karna hai right तो आप यहाँ से सेल्फ पेज दिस इज कॉल्ड सेल्फ पेज लर्निंग जहाँ पे आपके पास रिकॉर्डिंग अवेलेबल होगा एंड आप यहाँ से भी अपना कोर्स खत्म कर सकते हो राइट बट आर एडवाइस टू गो विद लाइव सेशन बिकॉज इन लाइव सेशन यू आर इंटरक्टिंग लाइव विद ट्रेनर एंड आपको कुछ भी डाउट होता है पूछ सकते हो और लाइव सेशन इज लाइक जब आपको फेसिलिटी मिल रहा है सो वाई नॉट टू टेक अ लाइव सेशन राइट सो दिस इज द क्लास रूम सो हेयर आई डोंट हैव एनी सेशन बट अगर आज क्लास होता सो इट विल बी शोन लाइक हेयर कि आपका मेरा क्लास है अब फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरा लाइव सेशन था एंड आई हैव मिस दैट सेशन और अब मुझे उसका रिकॉर्डिंग से देखना है राइट सो हेयर द अनदर टैब इज देयर दैट इज कॉल्ड कम्प्लीटेड राइट सो हेयर द कम्प्लीटेड टेस्ट कम्प्लीटेड टैब इज देयर वेर अगर मुझे कोई भी टॉपिक का रिकॉर्डिंग प्ले करना है सो आई कैन जस्ट गो ऑन दिस रिकॉर्डिंग एंड आई कैन सी सो दिस इज हाउ i am able to access my all recordings basically right now coming on the next part that we have as practice this is again the coding problems that i was talking about so ye 139 in total hai jisme aapko ye sar uh, uh, it is according to your topics so jaise aap class karoge jaise you are covering your topics so you have to solve each and everything maine yahan pe ek bhi solve nahi kare right but you guys have to do it so again it is same with the web development as well if someone is from web development so aapka bhi same rahega it is like ki topics change ho jayenge but dashboard is exact look like the same then there is a coding assessments are there so in total there will be a 12 so that you have to do next is the quiz assessment ye bhi aapke paas hai so you can even earn the points as well ye points aapko kya benefit karega i will tell you at the end yeah now coming on the projects part so there will be a 20 as i told you 20 plus capstone projects will be there and uh, ye every topic se related hota hai and uh, four projects compulsory hain aapko karne so this will be a machine learning so aap koi bhi four choose kar sakte ho and this is the compulsory that you have to do now coming on the career part here it is like you will be having your track ki aapka एट दी एंड देर विल बी वन एग्जाम सो यहाँ पे क्या होता है कि बेसिकली आप ये प्रैक्टिस सेशन में जब देखेंगे तो यहाँ पे यू आर सॉल्विंग दिस यू कैन से क्वेज और अ कोडिंग असेसमेंट देन एट दी एंड ऑफ द कोर्स हम एक एग्जाम लेते हैं दैट वी कॉल्ड ए वी कैट एग्जाम राइट सो वहाँ पे एटलीस्ट आपको सिक्सटी परसेंट अब स्कोर करना है इज रिक्वायर्ड टू एंटर इन आर प्लेसमेंट राइट राइट और ये सब इसी पे बेस्ड होता है जो आप सिक्स मंथ्स का लर्न कर रहे होते हैं इट्स नॉट कि बहुत ज्यादा टफ होता है और आप जो लर्न करता है डेफिनेटली दे कैन स्कोर वेरी गुड एंड सिक्सटी परसेंट इज नॉट अ वेरी हाई नंबर और हाई एक्सपेक्टेशंस दैट वी आर गिविंग बिकॉज ट्वेंटी के करीब आप प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे हो देन यू हैव वन कोडिंग असेसमेंट्स 
आपके क्विजेस हो रहे हैं हर सेशन के बाद एंड देयर विल बी अ मंथली टेस्ट एज वेल सो एवरीथिंग इज दैट वी आर हैविंग इज कि उसी में से वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग देम मेकिंग श्योर कि जो भी आप पढ़ रहे हो दैट विल बी इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर राइट सो दिस इज द मेंटरशिप सेशन दैट वी आर हैविंग सो हियर यू कैन क्लिक ऑन बुक नाउ एंड हियर यू कैन जस्ट बुक दी मेंटरशिप सेशन मेंटरशिप सेशन इज नथिंग आप यहाँ पे टॉपिक सेलेक्ट कर सकते हो कि आपको इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस चाहिए जॉब काउंसलिंग रिलेटेड चाहिए या रिज्यू में गाइडेंस चाहिए सो एवरीथिंग हियर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज इन कैन से प्रॉपर मैनर और ये अगेन वन ऑन वन होता है इट नॉट हेल्ड इन अ ग्रुप आपका जब भी सुटेबल टाइम हो आप ले सकते हो बट अगेन नॉट ऑन संडेज इट विल बी ट्वेल्व पी एम टू एट पी एम एवरी डे मंडे टू सैटरडे राइट The most interesting tab I'm now I'm going to show you is our job board. So this is the best in Alma Better only I can like uh, bet on this. So हम लोग यहाँ पे it is for the people. For example आप course के बीच में हो and still आपको कोई internship या कोई jobs के लिए apply करना है, right? So here there are the filters as well कि आप अपना location डाल सकते हो. You have an option कि आपको रिमोट ऑप्शन चाहिए हाइब्रिड चाहिए या ऑन साइट चाहिए ऑन साइट इज नथिंग इट्स अ वर्क फ्रॉम ऑफिस देन यू विल बी हैविंग योर डोमेन कि आपको डेटा साइंस रिलेटेड देखना है या वेब डेवलपमेंट रिलेटेड देखना है देन आपको इंटर्नशिप देख रहे हो या आप परमानेंट देख रहे हो इफ अ पर्सन इज एक्सपीरियंस आप अपनी एक्सपीरियंस डिटेल डाल सकते हो अगर आप नहीं हो तो आप डायरेक्टली अप्लाई करके एंड देन यू कैन सर्च द जॉब सो हेयर यू कैन सी देर आर नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स दैट वी हैव ऑन आर पोर्टल राइट आई डोंट थिंक ये किसी के पास है अदर किसी के पास है सो दिस इज द बेस्ट यू कैन से आई एडवांटेज टू ज्वाइन आलमा बेटर सो हेयर यू कैन सी कि यहाँ पे बहुत सारे जॉब्स है इन टोटल इट विल बी मोर देन वन एट सेवन सिक्स राइट सो देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ जॉब्स दैट यू कैन सी एंड हेयर यू कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई आपके ट्रस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग आप ये कोर्स के बीच में भी अप्लाई कर सकते हो राइट सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स that we have now coming on the next part that is refer and earn so even if you want to make some money as well for example uh, aap course kar rahe ho but your friend is also interested so aap unko share kar sakte ho code and you can make some money as well so for example if someone is wants to enroll in masters program to aap 15000 avail kar sakte ho cash if someone wants to go with the iconic plan that is uh, our iit so you can earn 3000 and the normal one is for uh, i guess 1500 correct right so even you can just uh, earn points from here as well now i want to show you the one, another tab that i was talking about so this is called help so you will able to see here you have to click on this and ask uh, there will be a 12 to 8 hai life support available right so yahan pe main click karke मैं एंटर हो जाऊंगी अगर मुझे कुछ भी डाउट है सो देर विल बी अ सेपरेट टेबल जहां पे इफ आई हैव एनी डाउट मेरे को कुछ भी डाउट आ रहा है इन क्लासेस और इन एनी टॉपिक आई हैव टू हैव एनी कंसर्न रिलेटेड टू कि मुझे बात चेंज कराना है या मुझे कोई टॉपिक से रिलेटेड कुछ भी डाउट है सो आई कैन जस्ट ज्वाइन दिस लाइफ सपोर्ट एंड माई डाउट आर ऑल सॉल्व सो अगेन आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हो कि बारह बजे से लेके आठ बजे तक अवेलेबल होता है राइट so now the i am going to show you again the most interesting tab that is a community that i was talking about so this is a community it look like so here you will see the success story so ye live sabke liye hota hai so isme you can check ki kitne log hamare yahan se alma better se place ho rahe hain so you will able to see ki kitne daily basis pe place hote hain so you will be getting an idea ki कहाँ कहाँ पे प्लेसमेंट हो रहा है रिसेशन है बट स्टिल द पीपल आर गेटिंग प्लेस राइट सो हेयर यू विल एबल टू सी ऑल द थिंग्स आई होप माई स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू राइट सो दीज आर द पर्सन हुव जस्ट प्लेस इन द कंपनीज एंड यू विल एबल टू सर्च राइट so that's all about the student dashboard so do you have any concern anything that you want to ask or any doubt till now okay so uh, let me answer your question for the fee structure that we have 
so fee structure if i talk about so we have uh, as i told you we have two categories of the uh, things that is first will be the certification course and second one will be the masters program so certification course is like it is six months of the program where in certification we are in a collaboration with iit guwahati right and the other certification is normal certification that is from alma better so in iit you will be having a better you can say advantage because iit guwahati ka uske aapko certification aayega secondly uh, that uh, when the resume is shortlisted for example अगर आपको कोई भी कंपनी में अप्लाई करना है फर्स्ट आफ्टर टू टू थ्री इयर्स राइट सो अगर आप आईआईटी का सर्टिफिकेशन होता है आपके पास तो वो आपको एडवांटेज कैसे करते हैं कि जब भी आप जॉब्स के लिए अप्लाई करते हो और व्हेन द कंसल्टेंट सर्च यू सो वो कुछ ऐसे फिल्टर्स लगा के सर्च करते हैं कि जिसमें आपका अगर है आई आई एंड स्पेशली तो वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा आपकी प्रोफाइल को इम्पैक्ट करता है राइट सो so, उसमें क्या होता है कि अगर आपके स्किल सेट तो बेसिकली बाद में चेक होगा राइट right? आपका एक्सपीरियंस क्या है स्किल सेट क्या है दैट विल बी सीन बाय द कंपनी लेटर ऑन राइट बट स्टार्टिंग तो आपका रिज्यूमे ही है आपका लिंक्ड इन प्रोफाइल है दैट विल बी स्पीक अबाउट यू राइट सो बेसिकली आई आई टी कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर जहाँ पे आपके हाई चांसेस हो जाते हैं टू गेट शॉर्ट लिस्टेड अर्ली प्लस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द सैलरी पैकेज आपको सैलरी पैकेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू कैन से कि पैकेज ज़्यादा मिलता है अगर आपके पास नॉर्मल सर्टिफिकेशन है और आपके पास आलमा बेटर का सर्टिफिकेशन है राइट सो एक आलमा बेटर का सर्टिफिकेशन प्लस आई आई टी वाला सो उसको आपको बेटर एडवांटेज देगा नाउ कमिंग ऑन द सेकेंड पार्ट दैट इज द मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम वॉज फॉर दोज पीपल जिनको बेसिक से लेकर प्रोफेशनल तक करना है और द पर्सन हु हैव कम्प्लीटेड देयर ग्रेजुएशन सो so, उनको हम लोग एडवाइस करते हैं कि अगर आपको इनिशियल लेवल पे जॉब नहीं चाहिए इफ़ यू वांट टू हैव अ गुड पैकेज फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग एज वेल सो अगर मैं मास्टर्स कोर्स की बात करूं सो so उसमें एवरेज पैकेज जो हमारा जाता है दैट इज 15 एल पी राइट सो मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम में आप एक्स्ट्रा टूल्स सीखते हो कम्प्लीट मशीन लर्निंग एंड ए सीखते हो एंड मास्टर्स डिग्री अगेन इट विल बी अ बेटर एडवांटेज अगर आपके पास कोई और मास्टर्स नहीं है और अगर आप मास्टर्स डिग्री कर लेते हो so that gives you the another advantage that is ki aapke paas ek to master degree ho gaya plus certification comes sometimes ki wo ek ex aapko in future masters karna hi padega for a better promotion or for a better growth right so masters degree aapko help karta hai for a longer term secondly masters degree mein aap basic to professional seekhte ho thirdly wo proper ek degree program hai jo wolf university ke sath hai wolf university is nothing it's just यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इज फ्रॉम यू के बेस्ड यूनिवर्सिटी जिसमें आपको आई आई टी सर्टिफिकेशन भी मिल रहा है प्लस वो सिक्सटी प्लस कंट्रीज में वैलिड है सो इट्स अप टू यू कि आपको अगर फुल फ्लैच कोर्स करना है फॉर अ लॉन्गर टर्म करना है कि हमारा बेस पैकेज हो वो भी अच्छा हो जाए सो वी सजेस्ट दैम टू गो विद मास्टर्स डिग्री प्रोग्राम एंड अगेन दैट कॉस्टेड यू समवेयर अराउंड टू लैख एटी थाउजेंड प्लस जी एस टी and uh, if you go with a certification program so certification if i talk about normal certification program so that is 30000 plus gst and uh, for the iit one it will be 60000 plus gst right apart i am going to drop my number as well in the chat box right so you will be able to just uh, connect with me personal as well if you want to book your session one on one so my name is pratiksha i have dropped my number in the chat box so you can just connect with me one on one apart anything else if you want to ask related to the session or related to the course that you want to ask you can stay here you can just write it in the chat box and i am happy to answer all the questions and i have one surprise for all of you who wants to join alma better or uh, like you will be having a very good surprise so please don't leave the session or stay till the end so guys do you have any questions any concerns anything that you want to discuss or you are planning to enroll but some questions be there in your mind and aap usko clear karna chahte ho before uh, taking the course so you can just clear your doubts you can write it down in the chat box i can answer your all queries yeah so i hope i have answer about your uh, piece and uh, everything so let me check once yeah so anything that you want to discuss guys anything or shall i show you the surprise if i get the reply then only i will like share the surprise apart i will not going to share so sab mujhe thumbs up kar rahe hain 
बट स्टिल देर इज नो कन्वर्सेशन ओवर द चैट मेरे को सेशन ही थोड़ा इन्फॉर्मेटिव चाहिए था कि ठीक है आप लोग भी इंटरेक्शन करो एंड स्टिल लाइक विल शो यू द सरप्राइज सो किस किस को चाहिए सरप्राइज वो मुझे येस लिखो चैट बॉक्स में विल शो यू फॉर श्योर एंड अगेन की जो सरप्राइज है ना विल बी हेल्पफुल इफ यू आर टेकिंग इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू टेक अ कोर्स आप बोल सकते हो शेयर द सरप्राइज ओके so for rahil and for shubhamoy let me share the surprise that i have and i hope it will be beneficial for you yeah so this is the surprise that i have this is a coupon code if you want to enroll in our course so of course straight away discount mil sakta hai that is mark 15 you can avail 50 per, 15% discount on the courses but guys ye wala jo uh, surprise hai this is on the gst for example agar aap normal certification dekh rahe ho so normal certification 30 plus gst hai that is 35400 uh, to ye आप मांग 15 आप उसी पे यूज कर सकते हो फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर प्लानिंग फॉर आईआईटी वन सो उसमें आपको ये सिक्सटी प्लस जी एस टी दैट इज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड आप उस टोटल प्राइस पे आप ये अवेल कर सकते हो मांग 15, राइट सो स्ट्रेट अवे 15 परसेंट डिस्काउंट इज देर एंड आई होप दिस इज दिस सरप्राइज इज गुड द पीपल हु वॉन्ट्स टू ज्वाइन आलमा बेटर एंड फॉर अगेन फॉर द मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम आप इसको अवेल कर सकते हो that is 280 plus gst that is 330 so in total you will be getting 15% discount right so let me chat the coupon uh, copy paste the coupon in the chat box so you will be here and you can use this code yeah anything else that we can discuss or if you have any concerns or shall we end this session if you don't have any questions i have dropped my number my name is pradeeksha so even if you want to ask anything if you want to have a like personalized counseling session you want to book so you can just ping me on the same number i am available on the whatsapp and you can just reach me out over there as well yeah so can we end this session now if nobody okay thank you thank you so much everyone for joining this session i hope this session will helpful for you guys and again will waiting for your reward if you will uh, you can reach out us and for any help or any concerns thank you thank you so much everyone for joining this session